Okay. Well, welcome back to Chicken Police Paint It Red with Kittle Got Game. It's going to be part two of our playthrough. Part one, yeah, kind of ended maybe a little bit abruptly as my controller and headset. My controller died, which makes my headset die, which makes the. Which makes it a little difficult to continue to play, so. Sorry about that. Uh, but we're all charged up. Ready to continue. And it turns out it was a pretty good breaking point anyway, because I was actually stuck in the game and had no clue what to do. Um, but I think we have a lead now. Somebody emailed me a couple tips. They didn't give me the answer, which I appreciate. But, uh. Looks like we ended the same place last time. May 8th, 2022, and. No, that's August 5th, 2022. They do the dates backwards. April 7th, 2024. Okay. Very good. Hey, Rick, how you doing? New line, Ben, Alfred, Cal. What's up, guys? Let's pick up where we left off. All right, so this is where I got stuck last time. We were in uh, Natasha Katsenko's, I guess they call this the weekend house. And we pulled this sculpture, and it made the safe in the fireplace reveal itself. And I got no clue what the combination is. And we got, kind of got stuck here. Um, but I got an email telling me I have to go back to the police station to find the answer. All right. Rick's going to drop a $300 super chat. Woo! Oh, boy. Yeah, if he does that, I'll uh, definitely give him two claps and a Ric Flair. I'll be jet flying, dialing, profiling. All right, so let's head back to the police station. Let's see if we can get the, the answer. Okay. I was told to look at the seal. That's all I was told. Honor, strength, and unity. Pig, honor, oh. strength, and unity. Pigs, I guess it's not that. Ruffians and... Okay, maybe it's inside. <laughs> Do it, Rick! The, the, poli the police nice crust? Words. Nice promises. Nice bullshit. Okay, it's not that. Why is it always a lion? Lions are lazy, Lions. dull, good-for-nothing creatures. So is it a lion? Hey, stop talking. Why? Aren't I right? Not every lion's the same. Just like not every rooster is an asshole like you. You got me. Why would you? Why would we ban people that donate, organizers? You mean that, like the opposite of that, right? Um, do I have the answer in my book somewhere here? Pop up under the codex, maybe. Chicken Police, City of Clawville. Oh man, the Fox King. No humans. I looked at the seals. Oh, there's this up here. Hold on. The city crust. Oh, there's animals on it. Look at this. Did you ever notice how much bigger the lion and the fox are than the there's other There's a lion animals? and a fox. You know, maybe all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Do I have to match huh. up? So that's why our king's a fox and not a sheep or a bird, right? It's there it is. Maybe a little fox, race, lion, sheep, and bird, maybe? Detective. Like just what he said? Where are the insects, anyway? And the reptiles? Did you ever think about that? Many times. I think they didn't fit the idyllic image, so they've been left out. Simple as that. Uh, that says a lot about this city. What was it, lion it and fox? Money. Lion and a fox? And then a bird and a sheep? Is that what he said? Lion and a fox and a bird and a sheep? Is that the answer? Yeah, that's Animal Farm, isn't it, Alfred? 
sorry, I meant to do a 3.00, Rick. Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> Ted, you got to look at Pokemon 4, apparently. Uh, is this game PC or console? It's both, Rick, but I'm, I'm playing on PS5 right now. There is a... Uh, can I zoom in? Um, did you know no. there's a theory that the Foundation War was a hoax? I don't think I can. That the rep Why? Where did you hear that? Wait. New I've never heard oh, shit. New Codex entry. I read it in tomorrow's word. I just kind of skipped the dialogue a little bit. I wouldn't use that trash to wipe. Well, at least I read. Hey, okay. That was a bit below the. Yep. But you got me. All right. Let, let me see my codex now and see what they added. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Codex entry. Oh, it's down in codex. Hold on. The Founding War. That doesn't really help at all, does it? Okay, I gotta look at it again, because otherwise I'm gonna forget this. Let's try to remember this. Um, lion and fox and a bird and a sheep, right? Bird, sheep, lion, fox, those are the four animals, right? Bird, sheep, lion, and fox. Let's see if I can remember this shit. I'm gonna go right there real quick before I forget. I was also told in the email that I got I missed stuff at the hop dog. I forgot to go in. I can't go in. Wait, to the weekend house? Oh, there's the weekend house. Wait, shit. There it is. Bird, sheep, lion, fox. What is this game? It's called Chicken Police. Paint it red. They just came out with a sequel that's on PC only, so far. All right, bird, sheep. And then lion. Is that the lion? And a fox? Really? That's it? No? Wait, that's a tiger. Hold on. There we go. Oh, let's go. Hello there. <laughs> what could this be? Okay, I would have never found that if someone didn't tell me to look at that. I would have never ever found that. The signature of the painter? Like, how yeah, are you supposed to look at the city out. seal and know that? Maybe I should have been listening to the dialogue a lot more or something. Okay, um... So I gotta look at that, probably. Piece of a painting. It's a piece of a painting. Judging by how well it was hidden, I'm sure this is what Natasha wanted to show us. Okay. Is that it? It's a piece of a painting. Judging by piece of a painting. So huh? a piece of a painting? That's it? And what's that smear on it? It's too illegible to be a signature. It could be anything. Well, maybe Natasha can help us. After all, this is what she wanted to show us, isn't it? Well, that's if we find her. She should be here by now. True. Well then what's next? How about we peck around town some more? We could do that, but I think we should gather what we know and try to figure out where we can go for Bourbon here. in this office, yeah. Uh, bourbon in my office. Ah, uh, you know what? After all this, I could use a drink. Right answer. New location. We gotta go back to his office now? Okay. What else did we miss here? The dead body, yeah. All right, um... New Line gave Ted a million. No, New Line. He's just going to buy Litwicks. He's only going to buy Litwicks with it. That's all he's going to do. Right? I mean, that's all he's going to do. All right, so I got to go back to my office. Let's also, um, oh, there's something new in here. Hold on. Deborah's dead. Okay. She gone. Oh, so they got all the clues in here, huh? And per all my notes in here about each person. Got Lewis's number there. Oh, 
What does this say on this guy? This guy's a real little ass plug. He's too small of a fish in an ocean to be worth bribing. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> There's probably some funny stuff up here if we read all this. Oh, is that Blood Boil? No, that's Bosco. There's Blood Boil. Okay, um... Police Department. Oh, man. There's my stats. Okay, and there's clues. Well, well, well. I don't know what to do here, really. Okay, we gotta go to my office at some point. There's the club. Newsstand? That's new. Hotel's where we gotta go. Huh. Let's go to the newsstand. We haven't been there before. Should we say hi to the old beaver? Sure. Mullen is an old, old friend, so he certainly a beaver. deserves a hello. And we do need information. Few people know as much about Clawville as the old woodchomper. An encyclopedia in the flesh. Yeah, he always has something. Okay, here we go. There's a book down here. I'll grab that. Collectible found. I probably missed a bunch of these already. Taxi sign. The taxi company for the upper class only. Politicians and gangsters. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mullins. Some things are indestructible, right? Yeah. Mullins kiosk's been here since I was a little chick. My old man used to drive here from the other side of town for his daily papers. Yeah, many still do. He certainly is something. Mullen's a wizard. You tried to get Dank age. Beamer back. Yeah. <laughs> Organizers, I thought I they got rid of that. Well, I think they still have that bot, but they got rid of like the fun stuff in there the because Clawville Chronicle. The most Apparently not everybody was eighteen in all those pictures. Newspaper in the Somebody city. figured that out, I guess. Or they didn't have the records to prove it. But the separatist overtones that's what are it was. getting stronger and stronger every day. That's the newspaper. Chandler's used to be quite a prestigious cafe. Magnificent animal. No, I don't care about Chandler's. Let's look at this guy. We're getting older and older, and Mullen's not changing a bit. Where's that the justice line. in that? He's just eternal. Like an ancient god or something. Oh, that was organizer oh, saying he tried getting him back. Sorry, I can't read. What a lovely thought. But if the city took shape... Yeah, some of the stuff was fun, like where he had a job. German. I had a yeah, job true. as a Karen at one but point, and then I had a job as a YouTuber. Very, uh, politically correct, coming from you. And then you could have a pet. Hey, you know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Buddy. I should be listening to what You're they're too good there. for this world. Oh, yeah. thanks, boss. It wasn't a compliment, Marty. All right, let's talk to uh, hey, Mullins. Hercule, what's up, old friend? Hello, me lads. It's good to see you. What are you doing around here where you never see a cat go nice by? Nice looking beaver you got there, eh? We're working, Uncle Mullen, just like you. some coins today. That but I'm one. afraid we're also walking a little bit Bought a bunch of Washington quarters. But it's New Year's Eve. Couldn't as well Shiny, pretty BU Whatever silver ones. Is, it can't be that serious. I'm afraid it is. Maybe you can help us with a few things. After all, you know everyone in the city. Look. <laughs> All right, we got to ask him some questions, probably. But of course, I'll help if I can. I know you ever since you This guy's got to know about young, Ibn and ambition. Natasha. And and... Marty had been just a chick when he was already coming here every day with his daddy. He works eh? at the newsstand. He should have some info, right? Sons, so yeah. Oh, thanks, Uncle Mullen. I believe they're standing out in the rain there. New function, ask. Okay. So let's ask him... Um, about all this Even's stuff. a ruthless gangster, that's for sure. But he's not bloodthirsty or stupid. You're not in danger until you're in his way. And that's not so easy to manage as the whole city's in his hands. How come they never tried to approach you, Uncle? What? <laughs> of course they did. Of 
Yeah, that's true as well, Alfred. Buy the whole area and build some huge parking garage on it. Mongrel Mick, Ibn's number one pug, came here. And you were trying to get it like qualified, like if I hadn't certified or something too. And I don't think they like the over eighteen stuff. Even Biff, the owner of Chandler's, but I told them over my call dead carcass. Oh, looks like You're gonna buy a nickel, Shannon. Uh oh. I'm too much for them lads. A nickel, huh? Oh, I'm just too famous around here to get rid of. We could say Ibn's almost almighty, but he avoids scandal like rats avoid fire. So here's my dilemma, <laughs> Shannon. That's a good one. Ooh, personal oh, I'm a okay. poor nobody, my lads, but my name still carries meaning. This place has always belonged to my a lot of dialogue if with this guy. If my dead body had been found here or in the times, it would have caused a scandal, even without any evidence. So he usually listens to reason. Yeah, that's going to be a pre-cut. Tonight he Dang seemed it. confused dissolute and impetuous i've had me. one of those shane i had a nice high grade one of those at one point are you sure it was him are you joking ibn wessler is not usually confused with anyone else of course i'm joking beaver humor you know <laughs> nobody gets it ah, beaver humor, humor. <laughs> good one again you mean this one right here shannon you mean this one right there all right Let's ask him about Marty McChicken. Hey, Martin, my lad, what's up? How's that beautiful wife of yours? Laura's perfectly fine, thank you. It's crazy you could grab an amazing woman like her, son. Are you blackmailing her with something? Ah, I missed your famous beaver humor. I'm just messing with you, son. Anyway, you look good. You're in good shape. You look more like a turkey than a rooster, if you ask me. Um, thanks. This is priceless. Thanks, Hercule. Yeah, I sold we'll that one a while ago, soon. Shane. I probably should have kept it. But, yeah, eh, sure can't keep will. Them. I bought... Here's my. Here's the thing, Shane, and I went to go buy some junk silver today, and it ended up being 40 rolls of uh, Gem BU. Like, these are, like, nice, like, beautiful 1964 D quarters. I thought it was just going to be junk, but they were, like, all, all, like, Gem BU rolls. It's like, do I really want to go through 40 rolls of 1964 D quarters? Oh my god. That's like a lot of quarters to look through. I mean, I know there's repunched mint marks and there's a couple double die varieties that are, I think they're kind of minor, but. I think there's like a Type C reverse and. Ah, god, it's like. None at all, Shannon, none at all. Nice girl. She used to come here for a while. With silver up the way it is, there's no time. premium on it. That's yeah, the thing. She's the poster girl for workaholism. I can't even she get melt for the them right now if I go to sell them the wholesale. PD, but sleeps at the station. When, when silver at jumps up like it does, the premiums go down. Because nobody life. wants to pay at the top of the market. Makes them wind down. Is there someone like that waiting for everyone? I should go through Indeed them at some point, though. Somewhere. <laughs> Usually not where we're looking for them. Yeah, right. All right, so we got some more info there. How's Desiree? What about her? She's still beautiful, and she's still my wife. And I still don't get why she hasn't left me already. Because she's too much like you, you stubborn old Could do that, owner. Alfred. You see, you're right about that, sonny boy. And uh, the Cubs? Cubs? <laughs> more like jumbo Cubs. The John Cubs. John's a hotshot lawyer in Galadia. And Timmy also left Clawville to try his luck in Grassmore. But who could blame them? Good move. Ah, yeah, but they visit me often, though. They're good kids. I know, pal. They're from a good litter. <laughs> if you say so, Sonny. That's the thing, Alfred. If silver doubles in price from here, if it goes up to like 55 bucks an ounce or so, then war nickels will be worth three bucks each. Only then. It has to go up quite a bit. Um, all right, let's ask about Natasha Katsenko. Do you know anything about a woman named Natasha Katsenko? Sonny boy, what have you gotten yourself into again? That lass is Ibn Wessler's protege, to put it politely. She's the crown jewel of the city. A shining new star. If you dare talk to a girl such as her, you can expect some serious lead poisoning, me boy. Well, I suppose I should have come to you first for advice. Doesn't matter now. We're in it, Uncle. Up to our combs. 
If you'll accept the advice of an old shaggy beaver, get to the end of it as quickly <laughs> as you can, and try to make it out with all your feathers. Yeah, that's the plan. But do you know anything about her? Anything, uh, interesting? As I've heard, Natasha is quite a mysterious lass. She came from the Stavonian Sardom and fled to Clawville, but from what? No one knows. Some years of her life are shrouded in mystery, and that really means good. You're right about oh. that. So, uh, that's your advice? Be careful. At least, silly boy. And one more thing. What's Old that? Shaggy Beaver. Never fall in love with a woman like her. Well, that's you don't fall in love with a woman like Natasha. No, 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 no. She's not the marrying just type, let's just say. Of each other, okay? Come on. And always carry a good gun in your pocket. Oh, I always have one in every pocket, old timer. Yeah, I know, Marty. Martin. I know. Marty. All right, so we've asked the questions. Uh, we got lots of new information in here, apparently under the people. So let's take a look. Let's try to figure this out. So Natasha. Um, so how do we know what the new information they just put in here? Okay, mysterious woman and dangerous, but she's in danger as well. But is she the source of the problem? She came from the northern Sardom of Stoonia. This is the new information they just gave me. Family plan to feed later, years later. I should reach Clawville. She was already an orphan. Okay. All right. So that's the new. And then Monica, he gave me some information on. Okay, it highlights the new thing. Okay, cool. Monica's a workaholic. She sleeps at the police station? Okay. Is that going to be useful? Don't know. What do you tell me about Ibn? Dirty little paws reach every little dark corner of the city. Hmm. Okay, there's still more on Kat Senka. Maybe there's two pages on her. Oh, yeah. We know where Natasha came to Clawville from, but there are several years in her life completely dark. Okay, so there's some mysteriousness about her. Who's Tim? Tim Saltwater? Who the hell is this? Number one fan of the chicken police. Okay. You would think, though, they put the new things under each person. Like, here's Mullen, and then they highlight, he's a new guy, so that's highlighted. And this is all the new information. Knows a lot of everything about everyone. And, uh, all yeah, right, cool. Now let's head to... Now we got to go to the hotel at some point. The Czar Club... I think we gotta go back to the police station. Phyllis and Roy's are nowhere to be seen. Praise the great wild ones. Well, let's hope this is a good omen. Maybe finally the pincushions have started to do something with themselves. And maybe it's not a coincidence, since we've just found a dead body, Marty. Yeah. What can we I found say? a dead body, that's right. We should tell the police. Home. Just like the good old days. Are we the police, uh, or we gotta tell the police? Hope there right? won't be any more surprises we are the police. tonight. You don't believe that, do you, boss? I think we should go tell the boss that we found a dead body. Yeah. Alright. Just look at him, that's all you know. In three, two, one. And action. Mark, what the hell do you think you're doing? We're just patrolling, sir. At the station? No, we're here for something else, sir. You missed me, huh? No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I, I mean, why are you grinning, Santiago? Alfred, did you need some I war nickels? Because if you need them, I can help you get them, but I wouldn't get them from the I'll Grove Show. Cute, They're way overpriced. Should I close them, sir? All right. Don't you peck at me, chicken, you hear? We're not even here anymore, Chief. We just quickly stopped by for something. Get out of my sight. I thought we were going to yes, tell sir. him that there was a dead body. Really? Really? 
There's nothing else to tell him? You're on duty. Am I right, Martin? Yes, sir. Then why the hell are you standing here? Don't you have something to do? I do, sir. Then fuck off. And you, okay. Sonny. Don't even think about saying anything. I can already see you're dying to say something funny. I wouldn't think about it, sir. You get on the... Okay, Alfred, let me know. Um, Officer Barkman. Okay, we don't need to talk. Say anything to Monica? Oh, we can ask Monica stuff. I see the boss is ready to explode today. What did you expect? The madness kicked in and he's got to be at the PD. Deputy Malloy's blind drunk. Uh, what's the name of the old man's wife again? Uh, poor lady. Marsha. She was waiting here for a while, too, hoping it'll only take a few minutes. But as soon as they saw the state Malloy was in, she got into a taxi and went home. So that's why the old hound's so angry. Please, boys, don't make him more so, all right? Unfortunately, I can't promise that, doll. As usual. All right. A uh, strange Look card. What found, Mon. Does this mean anything to you? Oh, the one with the initials, yeah. Embossed, gilded. These are rare, but I've Where never did you seen get that card like again? this one before. Natasha gave it to me, didn't she? I'm afraid that's a secret, at least for now. You haven't taken vital evidence from a crime scene, I hope. Uh oh. oh what are you thinking? On my feathers. You're gonna be in trouble, boys. Only if we don't wrap it up, Mon. Listen, Mon, uh, that girl they found in front of Oh, we're gonna tell her she's dead, yeah. You've seen her, right? Yes, we were first on the scene. Boys, you know I should report you immediately, don't you? We know, Mon. We're only asking for a little more time. We're oh, we don't want to let them know we were there. If you okay. learn anything, would you uh, please tell us? Are you crazy? Hey, keep it down. Blood boils right behind us. Please, Mon. It's a matter of life and death. Ooh. God damn. Okay, but only because I can see how much it means to you. Thanks, doll. We'll be forever grateful. We're keeping secrets from the police? Uh-oh. Good old Filmar hasn't been sniffing around here recently. Yeah, he was here a week and a half ago. He used the archives and took out some public records. Really? That's all? That's all. Oh, and uh, he asked me out for a coffee. Oh. I hope you said no. Why are you so interested, Marty? No, I'm not. I just... just... I told him no. Just like I told you no on all 25 occasions. 25 occasions? <sighs> Glad to hear that. 25? Come on. All right, I think we got to go... to our office. Yeah, it's pretty much... We can go back to the club, I guess. But that's nah, a lot... We gotta go to my office. We oh. have no choice but to continue the investigation where it started. In that shady little apartment I called home. It's like a nice the place. The only lead was the list Fillmore gave us, with all those imposing names on it. But what could it mean? And why did Natasha keep it secret from us? But most importantly, what did all this have to do with Deborah's death? The trail started to get cold, and so did the air outside. There was something unsettling in the black clouds, hiding all the stars. I prayed that they didn't bring an early snowfall. The night was already painful enough. Okay. So, what are we doing here? Trying to calm down. I'll have a shot. Sure you will. And yeah. we're trying to put the pieces together, of course. Figure okay. out what's next. And what is next, Boss Bird? Let's take a look at what we've learned so far. So, how did oh. this whole case start? What is this? Um, investigate. Okay. How did this whole thing start? Oh, shit. Suspects? Clues? Items? Oh, my God. What is this? This is like the frickin' game Clue or something. Alright, so... It's all about Natasha Katsenko, right? So... I'm gonna click and drag her. I don't know. 
Okay. Oh, man. No idea what to do. She's afraid. Uh, they keep calling her whore, right? Deborah's dead. Hey, that's Olivia. She has nothing to do with this. Lewis, Ibn, Deborah, Ibn. Do we put him up there? No. So we can't put any more pictures up here. Oh shit, what is that? Oh. Okay. Uh. So we gotta pick, pick, pick a clue, probably. So. Is she afraid? Yeah? Is that a. Deborah's dead? Let's see. I'm not sure, it says. Okay. Strange threats. That's it? Okay. Now can we connect these? Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. Um, Natasha and the threats, but what's the connection? Well, they were addressed to her, right? She's the source? We don't know that. They clearly weren't for her? No, they're all for her. Just they, she, they even wrote it on her on her dear Deborah, get it? Her dear Deborah. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, they were dressed to her. Are made for Natasha, no doubt about that. Okay. Oh shit. Um. And now I gotta look. I gotta use an item. The key, the card. Yeah, this card has something to do with it, huh? The Magnum letter or the list what's the card could be important but not now okay how about the list yes this is it okay uh, now what connect the clues to the people There was something. Ah, there you go, Santa. Yep. There's something, but Natasha. There was something Natasha didn't speak about. Well, yeah, she didn't speak about it. She showed it to us. No, she didn't. Well, there was the there was the piece. There was the piece in their safe that she led us to. She didn't forget. She did. She lie? I don't know if she lied. No, she can't. It is a secret. Natasha right? is terrified, and she's in real danger. But she kept this list hidden from us. It seems too important to keep it a secret. Mmm, okay. Oh, damn. So now we need to connect to another person now. Who's the list connected to? The humanoid deer. It's, it's got to be connected to Ibn, right? Almost, but not quite. What? Deborah's dead. What is Lewis? Her? Not sure. Yes, that's going to be right. What could we do with this? Oh. List? I mean, he might know something about it. He seems to know things, right? He has something to do with it? I don't know about that. I don't know. He might know. I'm only one person who moves in circles high enough to know where it's from. Yeah, Lewis is well Lewis. connected. That's right. We must ask him if we want to get out of this dead end. He might know. Case closed? What? This case ain't closed. Case closed? So the card is uh, 
Ah, oh, maybe a dead end. The piece of painting, too. But the list Filmar gave us... Exactly. Full of those imposing names. And I only know one person who moves in similar circles. Lamar! Yes, Marty. It's Lewis. Exactly. Oh, of course, it's Lewis. But where do we find the bunny man? Well, since he owns this building, I'm hoping he's here. It's worth a call. You know his number? By heart. 555-932. Five, 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 nine, three, five, 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 nine, three, I wrote it down in my notebook as well. 555-932. Five, 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 oh, two. you are a professional, boss bird. 555-932. Five, 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 um, let's call him. Lewis, you there? Hey, Lewis. Uh, sorry to disturb you again. Uh, could you come over to my place? I uh, have a question for you. It's very important. It's about a case. A real case with the chicken police? <laughs> of course, Sonny. I'll be over in a few minutes. Thanks, Pat. Well, that's too obvious, Shannon. That's too <laughs> obvious. If you really want to fool someone that's dumb. Give him a phone number, but make it start with a one. Like, oh, my phone number, it's 1387926, you know? Because no numbers start with one, because that's like the code to dial out of your area code. I don't know. That's what I would do, maybe. I don't know if anybody would fall for that, even though. <laughs> but everybody knows 555 is not a real number. Come on. Or if you want to do it to someone mean to you, you say, oh, yeah, it's area code 818. 911 you know, and just make it 911, and then it'll dial 911 before anything else happens. No, don't do that. That's just a joke. Okay, um, yeah. Is, is he gonna come over? Oh, he's already here. Oh, shit, what'd I do there? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, Good what's up, old Lewis? rabbit. I can always rely on him. Guess we gotta talk to Lewis. Thanks, Lewis. Again. It got over here quick. He's faster than a rabbit. My big dream to help you with a serious case. Well, let's hope you can help. What can you tell me about this list, old pal? Hmm. We used to just give everybody like if you gave to yeah. give someone the wrong number, you just give them, I used to give them our uh, I know bank in Joliet, Illinois had a time and temperature Maybe phone number that you could call more. to get the time and temperature. I knew it. So, Seven two seven one seven six one. What kind of Everybody knows that number. Is. There we go. I think it still works too. I've called it like on stream before. Class, I think. Politicians, business people. Oh my! So Lewis knows the list. Even the commander of the R Royal Guard. Damn. But I really don't know what it means. So they're all upper class, so high end people. End? I'm a afraid so. Five, two, one, time. So we gotta ask him then. May I ask oh, what you have gotten yourself into? This looks s s s serious. It's complicated, Lewis, but nothing good. I can tell you that. What much. are we gonna ask him ah, about? Let's see. Is there? A yes, Maybe there's anything. There's some. Yeah, let's ask. Oh, about Deborah for sure. You know her, the dead girl. Deborah, the girl who came to me tonight. Yes, she's a. Very lovely young lady. Where did you take her after you two left? Where she asked me to. To Flowerville. Flowerville? Rochester Street 37. I think he took her to Pound Town first. Yes, exactly. Why? Luck. <gasps> did something happen? Nothing good, Lewis. Nothing good. Oh, no. Strange car. This? This? Oh, oh, my goodness. I think we have a bingo, gentlemen. You s s see, I also have one of these. Oh. A card? Like this? Really? What is it, Lewis? Yes. It's a membership card to a very exclusive oh. club. Oh. How exclusive? Very. That's what I'm talking about. What does SN mean, Lewis? It's the s s s sweltering Nile. Ooh. But that's a... Well, yes, it's a 
brothel. But it's not, not like that. It's something Oh, it's not like different. that, though. Okay. Calm down, Lewis. We're not going to tell anybody. Thank you so much. It's a brothel, it's but not like that. <clears throat> yeah. Listen, Lewis. How do we get in? Phew. What no, we're never going to get in. Well, oh, just show them the card? If you could show them this card, they'll surely let you in. But it will be obvious you're not regulars there. We're used to that. So, are we going to a luxury brothel? <laughs> Correct, Marty. Thanks for the help, Lewis. I owe you one for the third time today, I think. All right, new clue. I mean, I guess we should ask him about the rest of this stuff, right? I don't right? know what you s s said to him. After you finished, he almost immediately then then disappeared. Really? That's suspicious. Or he had business elsewhere. It's New Year's Eve. Everybody's going somewhere. Oh. What about the cat? I didn't see, I didn't see her after the sh show. If I'm not mistaken, she usually leaves when everyone else has already left. What else do you know about her, Lewis? Oh, not much. What everybody knows, she was a d d d d dancer, then a backing singer, then st d star, and then club owner. We found oh. out as much already. Do you think she'd fled the Stavonian massacre? That's why the secrecy. Do you mean the massacre of the royal f family? I'd say her accent is a dead g g giveaway, and her name too, though it's undoubtedly an alias. Oh. So it's possible that she is a part of the royal family. Royalty, I, I, huh? I don't think so. Hey there, NC, Nobody how you doing? could have survived that whole, whole awful night. Uh, you're probably right. What's this sweltering What do we Nile? know about the place, Lewis? Besides what they're uh, dealing in there. No, oh, it's an elegant and exclusive place. Not everybody visits them for, for, for that, you know. Some animals just go for c c company. Mm, I mm. bet. I see. I guess it's mostly visited by the upper class. M -m mostly, yes. The wealthy who have a taste. Yes, oh. of course. Is it true what they say? That it's some kind of hidden stronghold of the royalists? The Nile is a proud herald of the coexistence of all the sp species. Yes, oh. but stronghold? I don't think so. But the place must be an eyesore for the separatists, right? Oh, don't, 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 don't worry for the girls, S -s -s Sonny. They can defend <laughs> themselves quite well. The S -s 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 separatists wouldn't dare to go near the place. Well, we'll see what they All have right, to we'll say see what they have to say about old these cocks. old two cocks. Uh, Let's see. That was a little <laughs> bit um, equivocal. All right. Very good. Well, I guess it's, uh, well, we got some new clues. The Sweltering Nile. All right. I found that on Deborah. All right. Got some new clues on some people. Lewis, part of the very exclusive luxury club. Mullen. Oh, I didn't look at those last time, I guess. I'll clear those out so I don't look at them again. There we go. Some places. Uh, the Sweltering Nile. Alright, and Lewis goes there. Um. Let's go, let's go there. What do you guys think? Should we just go check it out? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Chapter 2! The Killing. To Marty's delight, we were heading toward the most exclusive brothel in Clawville. The Separatists and those opposing the monarchy hated the place, just like they hated everything that supported interracial relations and peaceful coexistence of all species. <laughs> So the place wasn't just a brothel, it was a symbol. But just like a brothel is not a worthy symbol, Clawville failed to turn out the way it was intended. Oh! 
Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, here we are. The kingdom of long legs, silky skin, and fluttering lashes. We've arrived. Calm down, Marty. Watch your blood pressure. Ooh, trophy detour. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at this foxy lady. Oh, her name is Foxy Lady. <laughs> What's this one? Lemur Lady. Okay. Oh, Dog Dame. Well, let's look at the picture. Yo! That woman, she's familiar. She's a tiger. Do you think it's her? The broad from the Bloody New Year's? God damn it, Marty. Do you have to say it out loud? It gives me goosebumps. Chicken bumps more like. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if it's Chicken bumps. really her. I always get confused by the exotic ones, but... Yeah, maybe. Honestly, it gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. Oh, got more pictures to look at. Oh, look at these. Holy fur. You swallowed so hard, the whole place shook. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything <laughs> like this before. Line, right? Is this even legal? Why wouldn't it be? I don't know. Vice? You really must be joking. Vice in Clawville? Okay, okay. I was pulling your leg. But still, it's a little hot in here. Oh, cool down, Marty. <laughs> Don't even look over there. Remember Laura, your wonderful girlfriend, whom you love more than anything. You don't need to tell me. All I'm thinking about is her. With a hatchet in her hand. More like my nuggets. There's <laughs> 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 nuggets. Uh, is that where chicken nuggets come from? Laura, 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 Laura. That's it, Marty. <laughs> Just slowly turn away from the pictures. Uh, look at this one. Look at that dog. Laura, 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 Laura. <laughs> That's it, Marty. Just slowly turn away uh, from the okay, pictures. I don't see anything else, it looks like. All right. What do we got here? Oh, another picture to look at. Whoa. What's that? I don't even know. Good gods. Hey, keep it down, Marty. I see it now. Of all that's furry. Yes, it's very furry. Or more like, uh, shaggy. All right. Um, there's a bird fellow there. I didn't even see him. Dog dame. These brides are elegant. Just like Laszlo said. Lewis. What do you think could be the old rabbit's type? Fluffy tails, furry ears, a raspy <laughs> tongue. Oh, for the love of all the gods, stop it. But just think about it. Please shut up, Marty. <laughs> all right, let's see what the lemur lady has She's to say. what I call an exotic beauty. Well, that's one way to put it. Hey, like, I don't think we can talk to the him. most beautiful thing in the world to someone. Yeah, you're right. Oof, I don't know about you, but I go weak in the knees for stripes. Please, Marty, I don't want to know. And I don't care. Keep it to yourself. Oh, yeah, organizers? Get out of here quickly. I don't know, though. Can't I even talk to you anymore? But I remember getting that you album can. when it came out, organizers. That's how long ago it was. my lower back. Those two are even connected, if you want to know. Yeah, I remember buying it at the mall. Before I even had my driver's license, I think. Eesh. That guy's stare gives me the creeps. The bird uh, fella. I can see why. I've always told yeah. myself that birds are weird. What did you just say? You are a bird. Uh, what? Me? Nothing. Birds are weird. Reception of... What about the foxy lady? Can we talk to her? Oh, we can talk to her. Excuse me, gentlemen. Would you be so kind as to help me? Help you With what? pleasure, ma'am. The zipper always comes down on my dress. Would you kindly zip it back up? Oh, oh really? Funny. What am I, your mother? Do what you want, for God's sake. Happy to help, ma'am. Oh, what a gallant young man. Clucking lords. I gotta zip up the dress? Oh. What's the meter in the corner? What was that all about? Did I not do it right? 
home. I'm sorry. Can I try again? Oh, I can't pull it up too fast. Be more careful. Be more careful. Oh, Jesus. I will be, ma'am. That was too fast. Perfect. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> Marty, ma'am. Marty McChicken. Thank you, darling Marty. I'm much obliged. Anytime, ma'am. Anytime. Broker zipper the first time. All right, um, receptionist. I think she must be the receptionist. Bravo, oh, really? Mr. Detective. Why do you have to be like that all the time? Well, sometimes I seriously can't decide if you've become totally stupid over the years, or it just entertains you to act that way. Well, you know, that's a good question. That's exactly what 52 I 52 mean. now in line? Dang. Yeah, I don't remember what year it came out, but I'm pretty sure I wasn't able to drive yet, and I got it at the mall. My name is Day <laughs> Diamond. Welcome Can't to remember the what, store, what the name Diamond. of the store was. Some Miss record Diamond. shop. I'm Sunny, and this is Miss my Miss Diamond, Marty. huh? If I may, Miss. She's a zebra. a beautiful name and exceptionally wonderful stripes. Marty, not now. Oh, thank you very much. Please excuse him. He doesn't visit places like this very often. Uh, me neither, uh, to be honest. Oh, nothing to worry about, gentlemen. There's a first time for everyone. You're absolutely right. We're just interested in a certain lady called Deborah. Deborah? We don't have any employees by that name right now, but if you want. Any of our girls would love to be Deborah for a night. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, excuse me, you misunderstand. Uh, she doesn't work here. I'm afraid I don't follow. It's kind of confusing, but let me try to explain. Pretty sure that song's Please not on that album, I'm Ted. Your service. I'll gladly answer any of your questions. You hear that? Pretty song? sure that one came later, questions? didn't it? Shut up, Monty. Pretty sure about that. Uh, now we can ask Miss Diamond some stuff. Okay. What are we gonna ask her? Let's see. Uh, okay. I wouldn't want to offend you. Far from it, but it's evident you're from the police, even without this. Is it that obvious? No, it isn't. But you know, here in the Nile, we have a keen eye for this kind of thing. Right. I understand, ma'am. All right, she knew we were cops. Let's ask her about, uh... I guess, uh, Lewis. Yeah, sure. Let's just do you know a Lewis. gentleman named Lewis C. Hayworth? Of course I do. Mr. Hayworth is a regular right, guest in our establishment. I see. Uh, how regular, if I may ask? I can't give you any information about that. House policy. We have that too. It's called the law, ma'am. Mm. If you have any well, questions, we'll enjoy of it. Or nature, organizers, it's a good album. Come back with a warrant. Ah, touche. Well, I guess. What Does about this the list mean anything to you? This? I'm not sure. No, nothing. Don't you see some familiar names on there? I do, but everybody knows those animals. Personally, I have no contact with any of them. I see. Oh, thank you. What about the strange well, guy? She gave this to us. The girl named Deborah, the one we uh, asked you about. I see. Do you know what this is? Of course. It's a membership card. Was this person a regular here? If this belonged to her, then yes. I can check for you. Please, the ladies will entertain you while you wait. I'll be right back. Uh, thank you. I'm much obliged. All right. So these ladies can entertain us. Uh... Okay. 
talk to her again? May I invite you gentlemen for a drink, perhaps? No, thank you. We're in a hurry. Okay. Uh, oh, that's what I'm thinking. Should we just look at them? Should we go through the door? Is that like the exit? Is that it? I apologize for the wait. Oh. Please, come with me, gentlemen. So you were successful. My mistress, Madame Zavas, would like to meet you. Madame you Zavas? Madame Zavas? As far as I know, there's only one of her, so, yes. Please, miss, take us to her. With pleasure. Oh. Madame oh. Zavas was a legend in Clawville. Her name was known all over the wilderness. She's an avid royalist, former member of the Council of Twelve, spy master, assassin, businesswoman, and courtesan. To be honest, I didn't even know she was still alive. She's no spring chicken, that's for sure. She could also be my mother, or maybe my grandmother. First Ibn Wessler, now her. Honestly, tonight it wouldn't surprise me if His Majesty Hector the Third didn't grace me with his oh. presence. Hector the Third, huh? Oh, it's a gator. I got a hard time holding these gators down. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's look at the pictures and stuff first, right? Is that her? What a the gator? painting! Congratulations, ma'am. Marty. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful indeed. It's more than 40 years old. You know, I was considered pretty then. Oh, don't say that. You still look great, ma'am. Thank you. It feels good, but no. There's no need for lies. Those days are long gone. Every age has its truth and its beauty. For me, beauty is not in the looks anymore. <laughs> I agree, ma'am. Very nice. Alright. What else do we got to look at? Every kind of book. Oh, jeez. Got to look at all these books? There are books here on quite a variety of topics. There are books here on quite a... Oh, thank you. There are books here on... Okay, he just says the same thing. Dead clock. Is that the time already? Have you noticed your clock's not working? How observant you are. That clock isn't meant to show the time. It's a decoration. A memento. It's beautiful. Indeed. Hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Uh, what about these artifacts? Pieces. Do you think so? It's the art of my people. Your people? Uh, crocodiles? There are many kinds of crocodile in the wilderness, Mr. Featherland. This is the art of the Nylonites. Ooh. Ah, hence the name, the sweltering Nile. The Nylonites. It's a river, Mr. Featherland. My ancestors lived by this river a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Thank you. All right, anything else to look at in here? I guess we just talked to her, right? So she is the legendary Madame Zavas. Yeah, okay, thanks. Let me introduce myself properly, ma'am. Mr. Zadino, I know who you are. And I also know your partner. The legend of the chicken police is always one step ahead of the chicken police. Uh, thank you. That's flattering. Hmm. May I ask what you are looking for exactly? Here, on this night? You know, that's an interesting question. The card we've shown your lovely colleague... Belongs to an old friend of ours, whom we haven't seen for a long time here. And the name? 
Unfortunately, no, Mr. Santino. That's confidential information. Ah, it's a police matter. In my line of work, discretion is everything. Well, you know, in our line of work, the law is above everything. Oh, do you think so? I could tell you what your colleagues think is also above everything. But, as I said, discretion. Oh. Look, ma'am, we don't want to impose. We're conducting a private investigation, which started off as harmless, but now it's murder. That sounds serious. It is serious. That's why we'd be grateful for your help. In that case, I'm at your service. Ask your questions, and I'm going to answer to the best of my knowledge. Mm. As long as you're not waiting Now we're going to have to ask questions. Water. Fortunately, yeah. I swim very well for a chicken. I swim well, too. Oh, I bet. You're a crocodile. So now we can ask... About As the guard. I was saying, it belongs to us. Only our most valuable guests have one of these. And our employees, of course. The employees, too. Good to know. Can you tell me if this card belonged to a guest or an employee? No. I oh. thought so. Well, thanks for your yes, help. Thank you. Lewis Hayworth is a good friend of mine. It uh, surprises me that he's a regular here. He ain't gonna tell us you about him. You wouldn't believe our clientele. You would be shocked. No uh, doubt. No doubt. Lewis, uh, uh, does he come here often? Not so often. I actually got a list of your clients, thank I you think. Thank you for the vague answer, ma'am. Should we the show her the list? Is thrilling. The thrill is life itself. That was beautiful, ma'am. Yeah, the list of names. Tell How about me, that? Have you ever seen this list? I have. Where did you get Am that? Am I right to uh, assume it has something to do with the sweltering Nile? It does, yes. But I can't tell you more about it. No. Discretion oh. is key. Absolutely. Interesting. How about Natasha? You know Natasha Katsenko personally? Yes, of I do. Course. Of Tell course me about does. her. Warm-hearted, protective, quick-tempered, fierce. Yes, fierce. Thank you. Very it's just useful. an upscale brothel and she's the madam. Alfred, it's an upscale brothel and she's the madam of the brothel. The sweltering Nile, it's called. This place isn't just our home with the girls. It's a sanctuary. Really? Uh, how? It symbolizes why the city was founded almost a thousand years ago. Unity. Love. Freedom. Interbreeding. That too, yes. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't. My girlfriend's a predator. Really? I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> All right. Um... Well, shit. Oh, I can question her, too. is everything to Zavos. She used to be a spy, so I'm going to take her every word with a grain of salt. Okay, here we go. Oh, my detective meter. Uh, who's behind the legend? Who's Who behind are you, really? the legend, Miss Zavos? Who are you, really? Just an animal race to survive, Mr. Featherland. And because I've been taught, I know how to survive. I always was what I had to be. And you managed to dodge my question. Clever. Oh. Well, you see, this is one of the typical elements of survival. The way of dodging a delicate question and still making the questioner believe he got the answer. <laughs> but you're too cunning and experienced, aren't you? <laughs> you're not an easy one to fool. I'm trying to maintain appearances, ma'am. You should. Oh. Appearances, most of the time, are stronger and more dangerous than the truth. Well, we did say something about her being a spy just a second ago, right? Uh, dangerous being a royalist? How about the spy? Tell me, were you really the king's spy? 
If that's such an open secret, then I haven't been doing my job very well, isn't that right? Right. <laughs> yes, I was a spy. But that's such a blunt way of putting it. I always say I used to undertake confidential, generally political assignments of a delicate nature for the king that were in the interests of national security. Put that way, it sounds rather romantic. Don't believe the cheap fiction, Mr. Featherland. Espionage is anything but romantic. I believe you, madam. If you must know, I only did it because I believed I could protect those that I serve. Okay. Weapons have only one use in this world. To keep the peace. Yes. I always thought about myself and my so craft. Bye. Way. Thank you for your honesty, ma'am. What? Why is the identity of the cards under so delicate? Why did you open a brothel? What is the sweltering Nile? Is it really just a little... Uh, she's deceptive, protective, deceit is everything. So she's not, she's gonna get pissed off if we, like, pry into the identity thing. Uh, why, why'd you why open a brothel? Why did you decide to open a brothel? Let's get you some know, more info. this place used to be an orphanage. Then after the great avian plague, a hatchery. <laughs> then, young mothers lived here who had nowhere else to go. That's when I took over. Young mothers and prostitutes. That feels like a sharp turn. No, it didn't happen like that, of course. The process took 20 years, but one thing remains the same. I wanted to help girls who had nothing and no one. And who'd help you help? Them. Natasha Katsenko? And this was the best you could do, helping them sell their bodies. You see things very superficially, Mr. Featherland. We're a family who helped each other even at the worst. They're all families. Best for the best. Each other, and what's most important, survived. Yes, survive no matter the cost. Gotta stick together. And it's the cherry on top of the most treasured secrets of the rich and famous. Very insightful, Mr. Featherland. There's truth to that. Knowledge is power, as they say. And we know a lot about powerful animals that could Ooh. be used as weapons. Or the opposite. <laughs> that could avert a war. Okay. Uh, but I, we only get one choice here. If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? She ain't gonna say. If I guess who the card belongs to, will you tell me? Not I a wouldn't chance. say that's an acceptable price for such a secret as this, but... If you guess right, I won't lie oh. to you. Then, I will tell you you were right. Yes. Really? Good. Let's see. The answer to my question, Natasha Katsenko. Well, Ooh. Mr. Featherland, it seems the gossip about you is right. What gave it away? It couldn't have been easier. There's a beautiful woman with a mysterious past, trying to keep it a secret. While someone's oh. threatening her with the exact same thing, leaving rather unmistakable messages behind. Plus, we found the card on Deborah, who was her best friend. I didn't and know it was Natasha's card. So she was either trying to hide it or destroy it forever, so no one could find out the truth. Am I right so far? Indeed, Mr. Featherland. So if I'm not mistaken, Natasha used to work for you before yeah. she met Ibn Wessler. He fell in love with her, gave her a job at the Millions Club. The rest is history. You have oh. talent, Mr. Featherland. I'm really sorry you're not working for the government. I am working for the government. I'm a cop. Are you sure, Mr. Featherland? Touché. Indeed. Yeah. Natasha used to work here. We can put it that way, but you know, this isn't just the workplace. She also lived here. She was part of our family. Oh, part of the and fam. And we still love her very much. Right. That puts everything in a different light. Save us as a true survivor. Always was. And she's proud of that, even to this day. Maybe I can get her to trust me if I play to this part of her. Hey. Uh, oh, God. Look at all the choices I got. Um... 
Why did you take her in? Maybe you saw yourself. You tried to protect her. Everyone thinks you're dangerous. That's not the right one. You tried to shape her. Uh, protective. It says she's protective. Tried to protect her. Protect her from what? Tried to. Why did you take her in? Um. Uh, Why I, did you I, take I don't know. her in? Maybe you saw yourself in Natasha. She was only 17 when she knocked on the rear entrance of the brothel 17. on an unusually <laughs> cold, rainy night. I opened the door myself. Was Natasha alone? Yes, completely alone. Her left arm was slashed with an Ooh. ugly wound, and she was frozen to the bone, barefoot, only a thin nightgown on her. Did you tell oh, that's what interesting, to her? After uh. I brought her into the house, warmed her up, and changed her into new clothes, that was the first thing I asked. But no, she didn't tell me. We became very good friends, but I still don't know what happened to her and where she came from, or how she knew about this place and the rear entrance. And you weren't bothered oh. by all those secrets? That would have been very hypocritical of me, don't you think? No, it didn't bother me. I make a living out of secrets, Mr. Featherland. I see. You know where Natasha... She just said she didn't know where Natasha came from. But I guess that's all we can ask Do you her. know where Natasha came from before Clawville? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't even deny it. Even her name's eloquent, her accent, but mostly her manners, Mr. Featherland. She's from Stovos, and she belonged to the upper class of Stavonian social circles. She could barely even speak the language when I first met her. That's all you know about her. An ex-spy like you must have checked up on her new protege's past. That's the most exciting thing. Yes, I have. Multiple times putting my most treasured connections to good use. But nobody found anything. Natasha's trail complicated. could I gotta only figure this be out. traced back to the Stavonian border. What happened in that country, no one knows. Okay. It's rather curious, don't you think? It is, Mr. Featherland. Yes, curious. That's why I've always been... We're Rather putting lots of notes of into Natasha. our book, apparently. I'll have to Did read it touch those. you deeply when she left you? Indeed. It did. Zavos oh. is protective. It seems she's dedicating her whole life to her protégés. Okay. If I concentrate on that, Protective. she'll open up to me. And her protégés. Why did you let her leave with Wessler? Have you kept in touch? Didn't it occur you to exploit? Well, that's not very protective. So it's one of these two. Right? Have you kept in touch? Why did you let her leave with Wessler? That's kind of like... Yeah, I don't know. Let's Have you something. kept in touch? Only occasionally, Mr. Featherland. She writes to me every few weeks. And very rarely we talk on the phone. But I haven't heard from her in weeks. Mm. The truth is, I've started to worry about her. Did she give no sign of being in trouble? Never. No. Okay. Natasha's not the kind to talk about her feelings. Yeah, I've noticed that myself. Ha! Ah. Were you angry at her for leaving? Afraid she might blab secrets? Or when was the last time you saw her? Uh, we, need, we need to know more about her, well, right? Maybe around two months Oops. ago. I think I there was twice. a ball attended by Ibn Wessler, his beautiful mate Natasha, What's up, Sammy? And myself. Yes. Was she herself? Did you feel like she was afraid or worried about something? On the contrary, she was unrestrained, free, radiant. She was in love. Yes. In her own unique way. What do you mean? You know Natasha loves on a different level than most Clawville women. 
on most women in the wilderness, in <laughs> fact. Maybe it's because of the Stovonian origins. Perhaps it's something else. So you didn't notice anything strange about her? Well, if anything could be called strange, it was that I saw a woman positively floating above the ground, who previously used to stand on it with two feet. Okay. I see. Thank okay. you, madam. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Um, I guess this is it. How do you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? Honestly, I was very hurt. I loved her as a daughter. How would you have felt? I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop her, and you know why? Of course I do, because you loved her. You've been in my shoes before, am I right, Detective? Don't forget yes, to do your dailies on the official that. server. This isn't Don't about me, madam. Please stop changing the subject. I forgot to do one. I have felt betrayed on a certain level. Yes, and offended, and alone. Even amongst all my friends, were you disappointed in her? Only in myself, Mr. Featherland. But I have a hunch you know this feeling very well. Yes, you're right. Well, thank you for your time, madam. Anytime, detective. Yes, anytime. Living legend. Nice. Nice. Uh, there's my quests. Okay, I think I did enough stuff there. Sorry, I was doing a little pokey meow. Doing my put doing my daily in the official sort of room is called off topic. Ben's probably in there playing something. Probably playing the explore. Uh, surprised I returned to chicken, please. Well, Sammy. The reason I just, well, I, I always kind of wanted to finish it and play it, right? But I looked in the, um, what is it, PS Plus Extra or PS Plus Premium, whatever it is, where I got the game for free. It's leaving PS Plus on April 16th, so we won't be able to play it after that. So if I ever want to play it and don't want to have to pay for it, you know, then I got to do it before April 16th. Because a lot of games are leaving PS Plus. Kind of sucks, but that's why we're playing it now. So, Madam Zaiwas, final thoughts, perfect job. Exactly how we would have done it 10 years ago. Important clue, Natasha worked at the Sweltering Nile brothel before Ibn discovered her and got her out of there. Please, gentlemen, okay. wait here a moment. I would like to show you something that could help Oh, okay. You. Oh, that's excellent news. Thank you. We will wait. Do you trust her? Not in the slightest. Even her smile is fake. Ooh. This woman wallowed in other animals' secrets until she became one, too. That's exactly how I feel. Anyway, now that we're here, we can take a better look around. Just what I was thinking. Take a better look around, huh? Well, shoot. Uh, well, we got tons of clues in here now. Okay. Natasha worked at the brothel. We get out that legendary spy. Madame Zywas runs the brothel. We better be careful. Okay. Okay. We got seven new clues about people. There's Zywas. Okay. Close with Natasha. She doesn't know about her past, though, either. Loved her like a daughter. Who's this person? Daylight Diamond. Zebra. Okay. Pretty zebra receptionist. The Bloody New Year's Eve. Nylonites, okay. The great bird flu. Oh, that sucks. We got some hatching houses. Okay. Well, music be chill. What's up, Noah? <laughs> 
so they told us we need to have another look around here. Wanna look at picture of the madam again? There, look at that. Yes. This is the Zevas from the legends. Beautiful and deadly. We gotta look at the books again. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. Okay. Oh, we can look at all of, more of them now. These books are here for. Okay. These books are here for a reason. They... These books are here for a reason. So owls don't blink. Seven pieces of my mind. Forty-nine years of reptile. Okay. Wait, what kind of interview happens at... Wait, what are you talking about? Killing about to do an interview? Yeah, oh, at 9.14, what the heck? Seven pieces of mind out. So he's telling these me this... These books has... are here for a reason. So we need to do something with these books. These books are here for a reason. Oh, I can set the clock. Look at this. What? Didn't let me do this last time. Set hour and set minute. Look at this. What time do I gotta set it to? Is there any way to, like... No, it's just... Did I set it to midnight, maybe? I can't even get it exact, really. Gotta be close enough, right? There's nothing else to do. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, New Line sold some Papa Pleos. Nice. <laughs> I just had I had off topic still open. Alright, close that down. How the hell am I going to figure that out? Market claim... Claim all my market stuff. Oh, I sold some shield on. It's nice. Alright, let's see here. Uh, what kind of interview happens with another YouTuber? Beautiful pieces for sure. They must... How do I figure out what time to set that clock to. It's got to be a secret. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. Owls don't blink. Seven pieces These books of my are here mind. For a reason. They mean something. Forty nine. Is that the numbers? The seven seven forty nine? Hold on. Hold on. Make this seven forty nine. Uh, okay. Door. Who'd have thought? She okay. is a legendary ex spy. Well, uh -oh. this all right. Pro is here. I've never understood. Why isn't a key good enough? I mean, you can take that with you. I like owls. Riddles can be solved by anyone. I don't think many animals get to be in this room, Marty. And the other thing is, maybe she wanted us to find it. Exactly what I'm thinking. Who knows? Oh, that's right. She was talking about anyway, how the secret back door. In. 
So where are we going into? Oh, secret door right there. Okay. This room is not like her at all. The other must have been for show. Marty, this is the reality. We're talking about a professional spy. A former spy. Still, right. if anyone knows how to mask her real face, it's her. Well, you think this is who she really is? So... Cold, dark, and tiny. And full of secrets. Got some more pictures to look at. Hector the Third. Our great and fair king. King Hector the Third. Sorry for the poor fox, to be honest. I don't. He has it pretty good. Would you like to live your life as a puppet? Everything you do, carefully planned. Your rule and authority. The whole thing, just for show. Even if he is just a puppet, Clawville needs a king. He gives strength and hope to many animals. <laughs> Long live the king, Hector the Third. Guess. Look at this one, Ladies of the Force. It's a bunch of gators all dressed up. So the rumors are true. Yeah. Military intelligence. This dame's really something. I'm starting to think the whole brothel is just a cover. Ah, uh, makes sense. You think she's still working for Royal Intelligence? Oh, well, of course. Based on what she told us, she's a committed royalist. So I imagine You don't just get out does. of intelligence. You just don't get out of there. All right. Um, walls. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Me too. We better get out of here before she comes back. No, we got to look around a little bit more. Typewriter. Somebody started typing a letter, but left it unfinished. What does it say? Somebody new line sent you a message. Two, nice. Two, two, two. Report about separatist group Oh, she's movements. a spy. That's typing up a spy it. message. Don't even read that. What? Why not? I don't know about you, but I don't want to get caught up in the royalist separatist conflict. What you don't know can't hurt you, right? Uh, I can't even recognize you, boss. Where did you put your sense of adventure? My sense of adventure has retired. Leave ah. it alone. All right. Looks good to me. And then, uh, drawers. Ah, names, numbers, dates. Oh, furry gods. Do you think they all belong to the brothel? Hell no. Half of it is a matter of national security. What did we step into? You know what? Hey, at I least she keeps her classified much. documents in a secret room. The only thing that matters to and me not near is in the garage next the to the Corvette, hell right? We're doing here. All right. And what it has to do with Natasha. Sure. Well, oh, strange book. Maybe I should look at that. Strange book. This has got to be it, Marty. Oh, look at the missing look page. At the missing page. Oh, gods. Look at the names. Yeah. The ladies and their guests. Damn. What this means, Marty, is that the most influential people in the city had been Natasha's patrons. Oh. Some even from the royal family. Oh. This book could destabilize Clawville. At least the Clawville we currently know. You think this is behind everything? But Alfred, Somebody's that was his house. Natasha because of this? Not just a bathroom that of a golf course. That could easily be the case. That was a house. But something still doesn't He just fit. lives there. That piece of a painting. Sonny? If there's even a small chance of... A house that's only worth like 18 million according to the court or something like that. Here. What are you talking about? New clue. New clue, it says. So does my piece of paper fit in there? Oh, it does. Oh, and it tells you which girl was with which person. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Natasha. Molly Starling. Who the Wait, Molly. Hell, Sonny. No, that's my girl. Molly? She was working here. No. It's probably someone else with the same name. So that's why Natasha told me. Oh, no. Each other for a long time. Our Molly Look, works. Boss, I can't works believe here? all those stories about her past. Listen, Boss Bird, Molly loved you, right? Isn't that what matters? No, that Marty, doesn't matter. Please shut your fucking beak right now or I'll shut it for you. Oh, okay, fucking sorry, Molly. But just shut the cluck up. 
We've caught them sneaking around, Miss Diamond. Oh, she you caught see? me. I see, madam. No, oh, back off, ladies. There's Whoa! No need for this. He pulled we out his shotgun. To... No, maybe you don't. Unfortunately, trouble has found you, gentlemen. Madam Zavos, we needed to know the connection. What this place has to do with Natasha. And... And? And my wife. Filthy cops? He's talking gibberish. May I shoot him? <laughs> no, not yet, Miss Diamond. I'd be very sorry to put holes in your lovely striped skin, but believe me, baby, I will. I've always wanted to know if diamonds are bulletproof. Please, madam. It'll all be over in a second. No. We have received different orders, Miss Diamond. You have point Back guns down. at cops. Oh, I see. The pony does tricks on command. Well, I'm not surprised. That's enough, Marty. You knew who she was, didn't you? What she meant to me. Well, well, Mr. Featherland. Aren't you interested in your case anymore? No. All it took was a name from your past, and your professionalism drowned in the mud. Stop playing games with me, Zavos. What does all this have to do with Molly? Nothing at all. No, she was just a little bird among the many who sought refuge here. You forced her into this. You'd love to hear that, but until she met you, she was one of us. Just another... You clucking... Sonny, no! No, oh, what's going on here? What? What in the hell? I think I was dreaming. But it wasn't oh, kind of dream. No! Whoa! Dark and painful. Oh! And a fried egg! Smoke <laughs> woke me. Painful dream. Eggs, that's for sure. It's a nightmare. Where was I? <laughs> that treacherous crocodile. A fried egg. That's his nightmare. Molly, who looked as horrible as I felt. Well, I've always wanted a romantic sea voyage. A romantic sea voyage. God damn it! Oh damn it! I shouldn't have gone along with this. Marty, I told you you could get out any time. <laughs> and you knew damn well that I wouldn't. That I would the never leave going you on here? shit once I've joined you. You knew it, and you still asked me to do it. Marty, listen. You're a selfish bastard, Sonny. And you drag everyone around you down with you. How long was it till retirement? 120 days? 121. So we're in a fire all of a sudden? You couldn't sit still on your ass, could you? We'll take a good look around, boss bird. This is you, and this is what follows you. Just gonna be fried chicken. Fucking misery and dead bodies. Do you understand? You have nothing else to offer but suffering, <sighs> Marty. And feeling sorry for yourself. Oh, you're great at that. I can't believe this shit. We're gonna die here on a goddamn blazing ship. Like so we're on a ship. Well, roast chicken. Dramatic, at least. Just like you like it. Marty. How about what? enough talking and let's get I out of here? Managed to untie the knot. But if you keep thrashing around. Oh, we're like tied that, up. We're really Doesn't look like it. Here. Ah, for cluck's sake. Fine. Work your magic. Until then, I'm gonna say all the prayers I know. You better. For some colonel. Okay, um... Flames. We'll be fried chicken. I hope there are spices in those barrels, at least. <laughs> Eleven herbs and spices. Ladder? So close, yes, so oh. far. So I probably gotta look at the ropes. Or should I talk to Marty? Goodbye, partner. It's been a swell <laughs> ride. Well, let me concentrate on the. Oh, really? All right. What a shot up. Okay, let's do stuff with the rope. Oh, what the hell do we do here? Okay. Start. What do I do? Oh, draw a line. 
Oh, I draw a line. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, this is difficult. Okay. I just go over here. I can't even tell where this goes. Is that this? goes over to here. Oh yeah, this is how you do it. You just trace out the rope. Oh crap. Went outside the line a little bit. I guess through here. This ain't easy. It's getting harder to see. You died, retry. Oh, there's a timer in the bottom. Dang it. All right, let's retry. Oh, hi, Mark. How you doing? Oh shit, the timer's going. Okay. I'll try to go faster. Oh shit. I can't go too fast, because if you go outside the line, it breaks. Oh shoot! Uh, I'm gonna be fried chicken again, I think. I lost half my time. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, dude. I'm gonna. Almost out of time. Well, we might need another try on this one. Damn it. Oh my god, it's golden hour as well. Golden fried chicken right here. Okay, I think I got this. Okay, here we go, here we go. I died again. Mario Party 9 on the Wii? That's what you're playing? That sounds fun. Um, golden Hour, huh? Alright, well, good luck with that. Catch some golden fish. Alright, I definitely got this. Gotta go just fast enough, but not too slow. Oh no! Maybe this is easier on console if you got a mouse. Bro! Alfred, is this gonna be like that flying wingsuit thing that I'm never gonna be able to get? It doesn't look that difficult. All right, I'm going too fast here. I might need one more try. Oh, dude. Yeah, I thought for sure he was playing Fall Guys. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Come on, almost out of time. Ah! Let's get a trophy. Burn, baby, burn. Retry. Okay, I gotta focus. Not gonna go too fast this time. Ooh, I went way outside the line, but it didn't break. Oh, oh, come on, come on. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, oh, this is the farthest I've ever gotten, I think. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Come on, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Ah! So what now? Let's now go. We run and swim. I can't swim. Well, you better learn fast. Better learn. Or die. I'm not gonna drag your fat ass to the shore if that's what you're hoping. Well, I shouldn't have brought this many guns with me. Throw them away then. Never. Then they'll drag you down into the deep. Ah, I don't care. I always thought your gun mania would be your undoing. Cluck you, Sonny. We have to survive <laughs> this first. Cluck well, you. After you, boss bird. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. So they put us on a boat that was on fire? <sighs> that furry fucking clucking god. Damn. Yeah. Listen, Marty. What? What you said on the ship. What? What about it? You were right. I knew this would happen. Or something like it. I dragged you into this deliberately. Because I'm not enough on my own. Sonny, cut the crap. No, I'm serious. I knew I couldn't do this alone. I needed you to... Well, to look out for me. I don't need this, all right? Stop playing the wounded soul. I don't <laughs> fucking care. Fair enough. <laughs> You're right. Hell yeah, I'm fucking right. I'll, uh, <laughs> shut up now. Good. Okay. So. Got a You've rusty seen ship. better days too, haven't you? There's a book here. Cat Catchers, a chicken flea story. Okay. The city. Clawville. You tried it again, but I'm still alive. Oh, there's my burning boat. You know, I have a feeling this night's just getting started. We were almost finished. Yeah. You don't want to quit, do you? No, Sonny, I don't. Thanks, I'm partner. not quitting now. Yeah. Let's see what Captain Marsh like has to me. say. That's old Captain Marsh. <laughs> Captain Marsh. He died Marmello, you watching ago. this? Captain Marsh. I think I must have hit my head pretty badly. <laughs> Look hey, at Captain Marsh. That... Captain Marsh? Do you see him too? Oh, thank the gods. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, lads. What the hairy devil are you doing out here? Isn't it a bit cold for a swim? It was warm on the ship, at least while it was burning. I bet it was. Arr. Hey, Captain, how's it hanging? It's hanging all right. Arr. What about you, lovers? What was all that ruckus, eh? Oh, I think someone tried to kill us, Captain. Again. Come on, Boise. There's nothing new there. Yeah, old rust can't be scraped away. Did you see anything, Captain? Arr, of course I have. A burning ship. Then two cocks suddenly learn to fly. And <laughs> even swim, <laughs> by God. Oh, what a time to be alive, eh? <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, old man. Sure I haven't. I'm steady. Like the Sea of Clawville. Yeah, except that Clawville doesn't have a sea. Of course it does, laddie. Just not here in Clawville. Okay, okay. That's too much for me. Captain Marsh. Now let's ask him about himself. Tell me, Captain, do you hang out here all the time? This behind me is my ship, lads. Or at least, it's a ship I'm living in at the moment. It's not mine, you know. And what do you do? I stand here and watch the sea. The sea? You mean the River Times? River? <laughs> Arr, that was a good one, boy. Okay. 
Okay, so he thinks the river is the sea. Right. The black car stopped not far from here. A rich-looking car, shiny and all. Yeah, what else? Two big lads stepped out of it. One of them was looking like some kind of cow. The other was a cat, a big cat. They were fancy looking at the ship. I don't blame them. It's not something you see every day. I swear on all the saints of the sea. Arr. Just a wild uh. guess. Was it a ram and a bobcat? Arr, exactly. Oh. Are you friends of theirs? Well, an acquaintance. It's the bouncer of the Tsar Club and the goon that was hanging around Ibn. Oh, oh God. They've asked answers to Ibn, too. Or at least they're connected. Yeah. Oh, arr. That sounds exciting. He's the old timer. So Ibn just tried to have us killed, basically. This uh, Ram fella. What did he do after watching us? Arr. Nothing at all, Eddie. When that lovely ship started to sink, they got into their pretty car and got away like bats out of hell. So they didn't see us swimming to shore. Uh, I wouldn't know that. Uh, what now? I don't know. We can't go to the station, that's for sure. Yeah, they, they think we're dead. I so we got I the advantage. Broke a rib or two. My sight's getting blurry. Pluck me. You know what this means? What? Oh, no, no, no. I'd rather go blind than go to Bubo's. Who's we Bubo? have to, pal. I'm not your pal, especially after tonight. Come on, we got no choice. Well, we survived the burning ship. I guess we'll survive the madman too. Don't be so optimistic. I'm gonna ask you about the rest of this stuff, right? Do you know anything about the place called the Sweltering Nile? Of course I do, me boys. But they don't really tolerate folks like me there. Not surprised. Hmm. Have you heard anything unusual about it? Arr, sure I have. They have the most beautiful wenches there, laddie. <laughs> like sirens of the sea. And they're willing to do anything for you. If only I were a spring chicken like ye are, I'd be already running over there. That <laughs> new line. Well, actually, Captain, that's where we came from. On a burning ship? Bloody hell! You know how to live, lads. Ah, uh, we're doing our best, Captain. Hey, you be! Arr! Arr! What about Have the madam? the name Madam Zavas? Arr! When I was young like ye... Hey there, Russian! about a gorgeous crocodile with that name. I beautiful. What's going on, Russian? Just how I like my women. Ah. Ah, beautiful and deadly. It's her, yeah. Less beautiful now, but just as deadly. Her, she has something to do with the burning ship, eh? You could say that. You're, uh, quite the detective. Her, so I've been told. Yikes. Oh. Okay. Well, I think we've done everything here, eh? We got a couple new locations on the map. Bubo's place. And that's it. That's the only place we can go. So let's go there. Let's go. Chapter 3. Out of the past. Chapter 2 was kind of short, wasn't it? Bubo used to work at the PD as a coroner and pathologist. Then a couple of limbs and organs went missing, and the morphine stock suspiciously depleted, so the force <laughs> said goodbye to him. He then set up a private practice, but lost his license pretty quick. Now he's doing so something he's a shady that doctor. vaguely resembles medicine. Fixing up gangsters and bent coppers. Or pigeons like us. I hadn't seen the doc since he had to pick a dozen pellets out of my drumstick. It's Thanks, drumstick. Money. 
<laughs> His drumstick. Well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. The one and only chicken coppers in the rotting flesh. Good evening to you too, old owl. The killing trophy arms. Has he shot you uh, again? Roshan, that doesn't sound Not very yet. good, but... Ha uh ha, -huh, it is I laugh. mean... I just need a strong painkiller. I don't know if it's bad either. Here. I don't know. Some information. What too. can they do with that? I don't know. Well, then I hope your pockets are full. We just crawled out of the river. So if it's all right with you, I can pay with a pocket full of mud. Well, I owe you one anyway. One? Don't make me laugh, Bubo. You're indebted to us for the rest of your life. I don't oh, think I'd worry about that, Rasha. Tell me what's wrong and do it fast. It's a busy night. On New Year's Eve, animals love to shoot or even... Somebody's just messing with you, and the best thing is to ignore it. Tell me about it. Tonight's starting to Don't feed the fire. Bloody New Year's Eve. Or worse. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Did you come here to cry me a river? Spit it out. Then get your wobbly waddles out of here. Ursula will be home soon. Charming oh. as ever, old bird. And I mean, if someone's making threats, Russian, then you gotta tell your parents or something, you know. There's a book here on the table. Can I take that one? Yep, okay. Who's next? <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we got? Pitcher? What do you think? Is this a medical illustration or the good doc's dinner? Unfortunately, the two are often one and the same. Oh, weird. Ugh. That's disturbing. Science Eesh, stuff. Like in the cave of the vampire bat in those horror movies. You're right. I think all of these are illegal. Or worse. Occult magic. Demonology. Perverse desires. Oh. Unholy dealings. Would you two shut the cluck up? Hilarious. A shady room. Piano? This is just for decoration, right? Somehow I can't picture you playing the classics. It's Ursula's, not mine. She plays beautifully. I can imagine. Hey, shut your beak or I'm gonna sew it shut for you. <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> What's in the shady the dead room? Bodies and just stolen morphine stash here. The morphine's long gone. Oh, poor Boobo. Poor Boobo. Beak, Martin. Surgical bed? Oh, yuck. It's soaked with blood. That is blood on Fresh it. blood. I was operating on someone a few minutes ago. Totally sober, huh? More or less. Probably Bruh. less. My hands tremble if I don't drink, okay? <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. Alright, less is him. You look pretty good, old man. You want a formaldehyde diet? Huh. Your humor hasn't changed. Worn and out of style. Just like you, Bubo. Uh, let's, let's talk to him. What do you want from me? You got a couple I broken a ribs. Night. Need some help. Busy. I had to patch up two muscle heads a few minutes ago. Oh, is it the guys that... Of course, they oh. didn't pay. Two muscle what heads, muscle huh? Heads? Wait, let me A guess. ram and a bobcat, a right? A ram and a bobcat. How'd you guess? Oh, did you know? Ah! Shit. What was that problem? Why did they come here? The bobcat's hand was badly burned and something Ooh. had sliced the ram. Well, it's not an easy job to haul two unconscious roosters onto an abandoned ship and then set it on fire. What have what? you gotten yourselves into again, you fools? Those two work for Ibn Wessler. Yeah, we know, say. we know. Well, in this case, it was nice to know you, gentlemen. Whatever, Bubo. Right in advance, Doc. As you can see, we're not so easy to kill. So. Just tell us everything you know. And give us some strong painkillers. Shannon, right. paging Shannon. Ask away. <laughs> but I All right, we gotta ask him. If Ursula comes home and sees you here, she'll either kick you out or maul you to death. 
Alright, now we can... Wait. Ursula's a bear? That's hilarious. Let's look at that. Molly's name popped up in the book. Oh, I know. I, that was heartbreaking. Tried to burn us on a ship. There's Marty. Okay. Who's this person? Question mark. Oh, we don't even know who that person is. Ursula. Brown bear. <laughs> Hilarious. And we got diamond still in here. Good with a gun, apparently. There's Boobo. Okay. What else we got here? Oh, Captain Marsh. Okay. 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 There's some somebody we can't even look at here. Must have missed somebody. Okay. Question him. All right, Boobo. How are you, Doc? Long time no see. Oh, you should get shot more often than you'd see me more. He <laughs> he. Yeah, right. I'm on it. I'm still alive. Clawville's still standing, to my surprise. Ursula still bears with me, to my even greater surprise. What else can I say? You don't need anything else then, right? You know, I could use a big house, a normal job, and a ton of money. And it'd be great if that ridiculous King Hector would finally resign from the throne. Resign? So still support the Separatists. Wow, this old owl's heart is beating. But your life partner is a bear. Mm, not a problem as long as I don't marry her. You're a goddamn hypocrite, Bubo. Why, thank you. All right, how about that piece of a painting? You know anything what about that? What does this tell you, Bubo? That you tore off the corner of a painting? Not that. What do you make of it? That somewhere a painting is missing a corner. Don't cluck with me, old man. I'm not. I'm completely serious. Then, thanks for the help. <sighs> Don't you like the chicken me. police? <laughs> Love is still in the air, I see. Life partner. I'm a prisoner, boys. <laughs> yeah, the prisoner of your stupidity. Easy for you to say. You can't get rid of a woman like her so easily. Why? Because she's a bear and weighs a, a ton? bear? No. Because no matter how much I hate her, I still love her more than anything. Aw, oh, touching. Hold your tongue, McChicken. What do you know about Zavos. Madame Zavos and her affairs? Zavos, huh? Who? That woman's probably even more Yeah, we, we just learned Wessler that. Himself. Oh, great news. Is there some kind of link between them? Ibn's contacts span the entire city, and his new girlfriend, that Natasha, worked in the brothel once. How do you know that? Everybody oh, knows. Oh, everybody knows about oh, it, okay. Great. We almost died for that information. Yeah. Why didn't you ask? Oh, uh, we just did. Up, okay. What about this bouncer? So that Ram and his partner, did they talk about something? About the plans? Where they're going next? The Bobcat didn't say a word, he just growled. Mm. The Ram couldn't shut up, and he talks like a butler or something. He's got a very strange vocabulary, oh. I must say. What did they say, Bubo? Get to the point. After they've done the job killing you, I guess, they said they have to kill a rat, too. A rat, a rat figuratively oh. an informer oh. someone who spilled the beans and hurt mr wessler's interests so who's the rat former they call them a sneaky little bastard too if that oh happens. that's gotta be zip of course zip, zip. who the hell zip well then that flea bag's done for hold your horses marty zip is like a cockroach practically immortal i guess 
We gotta help him then. I'm afraid you're right. Okay, He's so Zip's the right. rat. One? I didn't even hear that, Bubo. So, who tried to get us out of the way? Oh, and investigate. Why? Okay. Possible suspect. Um, well, it's definitely the Zaywas person, right? Yep, that's gonna be right. And, uh... It looks like Ibn's guys were there. So it's those two. Let's link them together. Oh, yeah. Um... Zywas tried to kill Ibn? No. Secret lovers? Eh, probably not. A goon? Nah. They're working together. Maybe Zaywas is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Okay, we got one out of three correct. Now we gotta add a clue here, right? Deborah's dead. What has anything to do with them? The gangster lover zips a rat. Molly's name, huh? I'm not sure. Gangster lover. Almost, but not quite. Natasha's secret. Yes, this is it. Well, that doesn't work. Between these two? But why? Okay. Just because Natasha used to work at that place? So Ibn doesn't know. Well, he just... They're just saying everybody knows. Everybody knows. He has to know. Tried to kill Natasha because she worked at the brothel. Nah. Natasha was forced to work there. No. Ibn wants to hide the secret. Maybe. No? Oh, shit. That's not it. Okay. Wants to hide it? Ibn Wessler okay. wants to hide the tracks leading to Natasha's past. Or maybe it was Natasha herself. Okay. And then... Do we put an item here now? What's this painting piece? Oh, another true clue. Could be important, but not now. Yes, that's going to be right. But what does it have to do with Zip? Okay. Why do they want to kill the raccoon? So who the hell is Zip? A raccoon? I don't remember Zip. Zip was the one that found out Natasha once worked at a brothel. Zip also worked there. Zip knows too much. Zip has something that connects... Connects them all? Nope. Uh... He knows too much? Zip knows something or has okay. something that can unveil Natasha and Ibn's secret. We need to find out what it is. We need to find out who Zip is. Case closed. Funny. There's something else. Your car is here behind the building. Ursula covered it with a tarp. What? Why? She saw it in front of the brothel. And she also saw the madam's girls trying to take it apart. Furry gods. What did she do to them? Well, a couple of dames with guns are not enough to scare my dear <laughs> Ursula, that's for sure. But relax. She didn't tear them to pieces. She just chased them off and got away with your car. You know, for once, that's wonderful news. Yeah, I wore my legs down to get here. Warmest regards to Ursula when she gets back, Doc. She may have saved our lives. <sighs> of course I will. Now, cluck off, will you? Ah, you're the best, Bubo. I know. Will you kindly get lost? All right, new personal info. We gotta look at our thing. Who the hell is Zip? People. 
we got a new clue. We're gonna try the off a rat. That rat can only be zip. Okay. This is Zip, okay. A raccoon. Okay. Small token on a road makes the best coffee in the whole city. In a rundown roadside rest area. Okay. Still don't know who this person is. We must have missed something earlier in the game. Okay, how do you get out of here? Oh, you go to the map. That's how. Oh, uh, should we go to the hot dog? I don't know. Damn, we're late. I don't see him anywhere. But that jerk's here. Yeah, the famous scribbler Tim in the flesh. He must have seen something. And because he's here, he must have caught a whiff of a serious case. We should interrogate him. Oh, okay. let me be the bad cop, boss bird. Permission granted. Yes. So we need to go talk to Tim? I don't know. Is this Tim right here? Okay, that's Tim. Oh, there's this guy. Oh, you know what? We never went in here last time we were here. Yep. But Okay. Because I didn't know I had to scroll over. Maybe he can't. Oh, he just doesn't want to talk to us. Indifference is almost as harmful, Sonny. You think I'm indifferent about the insect issue? I didn't say that. I'm not indifferent. It's never too late to change something. I hope you're right. All right. Um, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, here we go. Um. Wait, we gotta talk to this. I don't know who this is. Scribbler Tim, second-rate journalist. Oh, he's a journalist. First okay. Rate ass kisser. He's a huge fan of the chicken police. Okay, so he likes us. Let's hey, talk to Timbo, him. Hey, Timbo, my old pal. Hey, well, hello, boys. W what a lovely welcome. You're not scared to see us, are you? Who? Me? <laughs> what are you thinking? I I'm always glad to see you working. Especially together like this is the Burb. legendary chicken police. What the hell's going on here, Tim? That's exactly what I was thinking. You see, what the hell could have happened here, right? Very strange. What happened Indeed. here? Where's Zip, Timbo? Keen observation, boys. Because that's the most exciting thing about the story. Let me guess. A ram and a bobcat appeared and took him with them. Well, uh, you could say that if it happened, but oh. it didn't. Then what? <laughs> Isn't it great? Here's the twist. Well, tell me. talking, Tim, or we'll have to see if you can really fly. Come on, Sonny. I was supposed to be the bad cop. Shut your beak, Monty. Start hey, talking, hey, Tim. Quit playing tough, will you? You know I'll help you even if you don't threaten me. I always do. Mostly. Stop babbling. Just answer the question. Ah, just answer the question. Why do I gotta ask you everything? Have you seen anything weird around the river? You mean the smoke and burning ship? Exactly. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. Ah, <laughs> whatever. What do you know about Madame Zavos, Timothy? What's the old hag up to these days? I only know what everybody does. She's rich, she owns a brothel, allegedly she used to be a spy, and she's an enthusiastic supporter of the Crown and the Royalist Party. What else? Well, I haven't heard anything else, I swear. She's surrounded by secrets. She was a spy, you know. Although... Okay. Yes. Although what? A little bird told me she's been entertaining <laughs> quite a lot of foreign guests a little recently. Bird. I mean, real high-quality VIP guests. Who? From where? Well, I don't know, but allegedly, she's welcomed patrons from Stavonia, Averia, oh. and even Nautica. 
basically from everywhere that matters. Stavonia, huh? Well, that's all. You know I can get into everywhere, but even I give the Nile a wide berth. Those wild girls are capable of anything protecting the madam. Trust me. Yeah, no. we've noticed. Unfortunately, we've noticed. So, what about Zip? I'm telling you, I don't know. He was already gone by the time I got here. Why are you still sniffing around? Uh, I was uh, trying to make that fella talk over there. What, the old that fly? fly? You speak insect? What if I do? I'm educated, you know? Ah, right, Tim. My patience is gone. It's time you start singing like the songbird you are. Hey, that seabird. Okay, okay, back off. We're old friends, aren't we? Exactly. That's why I haven't smeared the walls with you yet. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, now we can question him, it says. Um, okay. What are we going to question him Jimbo's about? Jimbo's a douchebag. So ah! it's not hard to draw the truth from him. So what are you doing around here, Timbo? Uh, what the hell are you doing around here, Timbo? Uh, all right, I confess, but you'll be surprised. I was looking for you, boys. The whole town's talking about you. Really? Oh yeah, I'm what are they saying about us? Pride. Why would Everybody's he be looking for us? Whispering about the chicken police being back together again, and that you've already turned the whole city upside down. Great news. What else do they say? That you've threatened Ibn Wessler's sweetheart Natasha, then no. trashed Madame Zavas's brothel. No. Hard stuff. Really? I'm Fake news. Surprised. Oh, and the best. You set fire to a ship Fake too. Fake news. Yeah. Right. Ah, and one more thing. A poor girl was found dead at Natasha's place after you visited there. Is that mm. so? And you believe all that? I'm a journalist, Sonny. It doesn't matter what I believe. Yeah. Mm. Uh, why have you been and looking for us? Why are you looking for us here, of all places? You offend me, Sonny. I'm your biggest fan. I knew the hop dog's gonna be on your list. Mm. So it was a lucky guess. Okay. Uh, something like that. And I'm wasting time here often anyway, so I had nothing to lose. And here we are. So you weren't following us by any chance, or out with it? Who squat? So How about you weren't following us. He's following us. Chance. Guys, what exactly do you take me for? Let's not get into that, Timbo. So, I wasn't following you at all. This place oh. was my first guess, okay? Or I just wanted to have a good cup of coffee. I mean, who knows? You're being a little shady. Oh, that was minus five. That was wrong. What happened, what happened to Zip? To Zip, Tim. Okay. When I arrived here, the hop dog was rice crossed. cracker. <laughs> Zip wanted to shoo me away, but I managed to persuade him to talk to me a little. Uh, we're old friends, Sonny. You know, and uh, I have this personal charm. Yeah, right. The uh, charm. Get to the point, Timbo. Mm. Uh, okay, okay. So, he was totally crazy. Uh, I've never seen him like that before. He was flustered, flailing, and talking. I don't think we ever gibberish. really talked to Zip. He must have said something. Since you're we were probably friend. supposed to do that earlier. Well, he just said he'd go to the only place where there are even bigger scoundrels than those that are after him. Really? I can guess where he. Where's that? The club? I didn't have a clue. Anyway. After he closed the dog behind me, and then the cops came and took him away in handcuffs, I came to the conclusion that all of this makes no sense. Hmm. Zip, you clever son <laughs> That's of That's funny, bitch. Alfred. Why? Who? What is it? Oh, tell me. You just keep your beak out of this, Scribbler. I think I've got an idea about what our little friend's up to. I don't have an idea. Timber What's our friend up to? Drag. Oh, here we it's go. It's easy to approach him through his ego. Best if we ruthlessly exploit that. So we want to have him brag about something and his ego. Any juicy gossip, my friend? That sounds pretty good. Nothing better to disturb trouble? No, that's not it. Working on a new front page article, eh? Uh, one of those first or the last? Well, I'm gonna go with the gossip. Heard any juicy gossip today, Tim, my friend? Natasha performed your new song tonight. It was a blast, I heard. Oh. And a poor little Bambi died. 
Oh, and a ship was seen burning and sinking on the times, but you already know that. Not only know it, we even felt it. That all? But it could fill a full... That was pretty crazy, Alfred. Particle. Isn't that enough? It's more than enough, Tim, old pal. Maybe we should uh, always keep half a billion in stock, just in case. Ah! Um, okay, so... How did you get rid of the cops? I don't... These two cops... Huh. Who told you we were working together again? Well, he's a fan of us. You're so well informed. Tell me about Madam. What cops? Is he I, is I, I was. I must not have been listening. He was talking about cops. What about the Madam? Tell me As more about so her. Well informed, Timster. So she tell just tried to kill us. Well, they say she's kind of angry because someone. What a of them? That's ridiculous. Oh, and that someone was allegedly you and Marty. Yeah, you already told us. Good story. Anything else? With a little more truth in it. Allegedly, Ibn Wessler's men were seen around the brothel. I have a hunch that they were the same two guys that So they probably too. trashed the place. Gee, that may even be true. Well, you pay attention to everything. Did anyone come Kimbo, here? you pay attention to everything. Did anyone else come here? Besides the coppers? Yeah, a ram and a bobcat. Ram and a bobcat. You just oh told us boy! It wasn't them. Wait, wasn't them what? I didn't say they took zip because that's not how it happened. Don't make me mad. Don't Tim. fuck with us, We're Timbo. We're really not in the mood for this. Hey, I I'm only telling you the truth. They stopped here in a fancy big car, uh, looked around, then left. Zip was no longer here. Neither were the coppers. Okay. So the cops Tim are in on it too. Fan of ours, and it's time to finally use that to our advantage. What was Zip doing? Uh, how did Zip behave when they took him? He said he didn't take him. Are you sure they were Wessler's goons? Of course, we already know. Help your pals Help your out. Old pals, Tim. How about that? What was Zip doing before they took him away? Hey, you're trying to grease me up with all that sweet talk, Sonny Honey. Of course not, Tim Tim. We're old pals. I'm sure we are, but I don't remember you telling me that without an ulterior motive. But you know what? I don't care. Feels good anyway. I'm glad to hear that. Feels so. good, man. Zip was acting crazy. He was running around, knocking over everything, and throwing things away. Then he suddenly disappeared into the kitchen. I guess that's when he made the call. Because soon after that, the coppers arrived. Oh. And in between? Well, I didn't see him in between. Oh. Why didn't you go inside? He's your friend, isn't he? Well, I tried, Sonny. The door was closed. I, I knocked, even yelled. You know how a yelling seagull sounds like, <laughs> but nothing. I think I have a hunch what that was all about. Good for you, Sonny. Uh, Zip was hiding something in the dog, right? Zip was hiding something in the dog, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Well, you tell me. You're good old friends, aren't you? Well, that's right, Sonny, but... Zip's not the kind to easily share his secrets. Oh. But now that you put it that way... That's more like it, Tim. Tell me. What do you know? What do you know? I don't know what it could be exactly. I mean, maybe it's not even relevant, but I'm sure Zip was trying to get rid of something when I arrived here. What? And where? Oh. I don't know, okay? I, I already oh, told we gotta you go in there much. and find something. If Zip hears about me telling you all this, he's never gonna talk to me again. Tim, unless we find Zip... He's not going to talk to anyone ever again. Not in this life, at least. Yikes. 90%. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. Zip's hiding something. We must find it before it's too late. Okay. Let's get in there and... Look at this look mess. Up. Looks like he was in a real hurry. Or was trying to erase his tracks. Because he was trying to hide something. But where? 
And most of all, what? Let's take a good look around. Lie with me, baby. When we get over this whole mess, I'm gonna take you to a concert. No, you won't. Yes, I will. Swear. Yeah, yeah. well, good luck with that. You'll see. You'll Just see. Just wait. Uh. <laughs> Cold uh, coffee. I wouldn't dare touch that. No. Doodles. Huh. What insight? Fuck the king. Good question, pal. Where all the colors go? <laughs> all right. Menu. You still don't eat meat, old man? I'm a rooster, a chicken. Why the hell would I eat meat? I don't mean real meat. I'm not a lunatic. But a meat substitute? There's about ten different kinds. Have you never tried any of them? Why would I? If I don't eat meat, why would I eat a substitute? Because you can. That's the point. Wild gods, Marty. Stop being such a sheep. Do you fall for those adverts? Substitute isn't meat, Sonny. And if it's tasty, why wouldn't I eat it? I don't care what you eat. <laughs> but don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off your own leg one day. Hilarious. Oh, we can look at the jukebox. Songbird trophy. Oh. Oh, I can play music. Oh. How about not all cops are pigs? Bad doctor. Have you ever been with a predator before? City's on fire. Hmm. All right. Um, we look at everything. Go to the door. Body already looked through it. Nothing interesting. Oh. He's hiding something in here. I think poor Marty. Greetings, pal. What can I get you? Ah. What are you doing, Marty? A nice hot cup of coffee? Maybe some toast? Ooh, our strawberry jam pancake is divine. You must have hit your head pretty bad. Yes, sir. One coffee and a turbo milkshake with extra vanilla and millet powder coming right up. Ah, oh, furry gods, help me. Please don't have a nervous breakdown, okay? Well, shoot. I think we're missing something. It's not the coffee. What were the doodles again? Where'd the colors go? Fuck the king. It's hidden here somewhere. It's hidden here somewhere. The poster just says, Fly with me, baby. Is it like some... Okay, hop dog. And... Tomato, hot dog, grass dog, savannah style. Huh. Is there some trick with the menu here? Ooh, a nice pancake with hemp seed, chocolate, and black onions? I'd rather have somebody pull my beak off. Ah, you used to be more daring. Yeah, and my back didn't hurt either. Furry heavens, it's depressing being around you, boss bird. Zips coffee. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything here. 
Was it something with the jukebox? Maybe? That's all that's really left. Navigate interaction. It says break me. No! Oh. <laughs> Look at this. It said break me oh, right there. But what the hell could it be? No idea, Marty. Guess it's best if we ask the owner himself. Where do we find him? Now, well, Timbo told us he's with even worse bastards than the one chasing him. That's it. The Parliament. No, Marty, but close. Then... No way. Oh, yes, Marty. Zip is at the Clawville City Police Department. Could it be that simple? And that wild? Well, the cops took him. So it's obvious that he called the cops by himself to scare away Westler's henchmen. Timbo was right. Doesn't he know half the police is in Westler's pocket? He probably does, but this was his only chance. Uh, then he really is in big trouble. So, to the PD then? Well, yeah, I haven't got a better idea. Believe me, I'd love to have one. New clue, what did he give us? What did we find in there? Oh, what is what is that? Why did you keep that wristband? So it's a wristband with blood on it. Interesting. Well, I guess we need to get the heck out of here, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I mean, how do you get out of here? Back? Have you found oh, okay. what you were looking for? No, Timbo, but we wouldn't tell you even if we did. Ah, but you have. You are an open book to me, Sonny. So, uh, thanks for the intel. Be careful what you're writing, Timmy boy. I'm a cop for only the next 121 days. After that, I can gut you if I want and get away with it. And when did you being a cop stop you? He has a point. Just keep a low profile, okay, Timster? Okay, okay, I get it. My beak is sealed. <laughs> Alright, what's the info we just learned here? Okay, Zip called the cops. Zip's hiding something. We got okay. We got it. The wristband. But what does it mean? So he hid that before the cops came. This person's still a mystery. Tim's got a bunch of stuff there. Tim knew it happened. Okay. And then Zip is a raccoon. He's afraid of something. Delivering information to Ibn. He was a police informant then? Oh, okay. Working both sides. Okay. Nautica, one of the freight four great undersea countries. Oh, 1,500 miles away from Clawville. Wild. Okay. Um, well, that's cool and all. Can we talk to this guy? We tried before. Hey, old pal. Could you help us? Does he understand us? I don't know. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen where the raccoon went? The one who owns the joint? Nothing. Well, we already know he went to the police station, right? So is that where we're supposed to go? Clawville PD. We can go back to the weekend house or to the Nile. Or the newsstand. Let's go back to the house. Maybe we missed something. Ah, we're let me go boss. back there. Yeah, oh, the crap. boys were quite fast, I admit. Oh. Ah, what are we going to tell them? 
Any chance the we cops were just are here. joyriding around here? Not much. That's why Should've they're known. gonna believe it. You think so? Just watch and learn, cub. Got Bosco here. Well, yeah, let's see what Phyllis has to say. Hey, boys. I see you're working hard. Hey, what about you? What the hell are you doing here? And we were just driving through when we saw the party. And who are you trying to feed that bullshit to? Yeah, we're not eating that shunny. This isn't your neighborhood. Cat's still working, so, Alfred. Thanks. You still it. hear me, right? <laughs> Pull back the spikes. What's going on? Just fill us in, fellas. Oh. Young girl, around 25 to 30 years old. Pretty? Some kind of doe or something? Impala, you moron. Hi there, Merrick. I'm Impala indeed, fellas. Wait, how do you know that, Marty? One of the officers mentioned it. Don't blow your top, okay? Carry on. We don't have all night. So, the girl was naked. And there's no trace of predation. We don't even know how she died. It's the coroner's day off. Huh. Another thing oh. that only happens in Clawville, huh? Which reminds me, what are you even doing here? We're securing the area. Yeah, I can see that. I beg your pardon, Marty. Oh. I said, have a nice time doing nothing, boys. I mean, <laughs> securing. Security, do nothing. Sorry, guys, crime scene. You can come in if you want, Marty. But unfortunately, Sonny counts as a civilian. Oh. It's all right, Bosco, we understand. Anyway, I don't think whatever's in there would surprise us much. Shut what? up. What Shut up, Marty. That? Oh, nothing, nothing. We've just heard what's going on. <laughs> Maybe we've already been case. in there. Yeah, she was young and full of life. At least I think so. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm too old for this shit, you know. What are you doing here anyway? I heard there wasn't any predation here. It's a simple murder case, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. But the city's too busy tonight. We simply don't have enough officers on duty to cover everything. Sound familiar? Yes, it does. Oh. So everyone's doing everything, eh? And nothing. Not what oh. they should, anyway. But you know, I'm not even here. I just stepped in to take a look at the case for the boss. I'm already heading so back, he's to, heading the back to the PD. We just happened to be around here, too. So uh, we'll be on our way now. See ya. See you soon? Yeah, afraid so. All right, what else we got? Cop car. Should we blow out the tires, boss? What the yeah. hell's gotten into you, Marty? Huh? Oh, the book there. Bloody New Year's Eve. Uh, okay. Anything else that I can interact with? Now. So now we need to go to... The PD. I want to see if the club's all messed up. Mm, Sonny, you sure they'll welcome us here? No, they won't. But I don't care. I like this new Sonny. Yeah, I don't care. I need answers. Hey, lemur lady. And dog dame. And bird fella. Miss Diamond, what's going Hello, on? miss. Gentlemen, I... I don't worry, miss. We're not here to arrest you. Though I admit the temptation is high. I... I just was... Uh... We know, doll. You did what the madam told you to, right? Please, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault. Hey, Marty, you're not gonna propose to her, are you? He likes them Please, stripes. Gentlemen, this is very embarrassing and unpleasant for me. What do you want here? Are you tempting fate? Do you want to I die? just wanted to see if the place if was we all messed to up. Die, we just had to let the ship burn. You know, the one you put us into. I had nothing to do with that. It was Ibn Wessler's goons. Okay. Wessler's goons? Did they knock us out too? No, that was us. The girls. No. But we had no choice. I can't tell you more. Tell us this, then. Is the madam here? Yes. But I'm sure she wouldn't want to see you. You have to understand Do I that. care if she wants we'll to or not? That, sweet pea. Thanks for the help. But I... Hmm. Y 
you think this is a good idea, Sonny? Or stay outside if you want. Yeah, I'm going in and talk to the croc. Okay, okay, boss. I didn't. Yeah. The end is nigh. The dead walk among us. Uh, greetings to you too, madam. Are you surprised to see us? I must admit I am a little. But I also must admit I'm relieved. Yes. Relieved? Wasn't it you who put us on a burning ship by any chance? No, it wasn't me, Mr. Featherland. Though I can't deny my part in it either. How okay. comforting. So Look, she didn't Mr. try to kill us then. Your investigation clashed it's with Ibn. my business and my personal interests. I couldn't let it slide. That's all there is to it. Nothing more. You're expecting any other explanation in vain. You really are cold-blooded, aren't you? Not my fault. <laughs> I'm a crocodile. She's a crocodile. It has nothing to do with you being a crocodile, madam. Whatever you think. So, what can I help you with, gentlemen? Before you alert your wildcats, we're not here to arrest you, ma'am. We're not even here to confront you with anything. Why then? To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I simply want to know why. The answer is frustratingly simple, Mr. Featherland. You'll be disappointed. Try me. I have a contract with Mr. Wessler. And your investigation oh. infringed certain terms of that contract. Oh. That's all. Contract, huh? Is Natasha the subject of this contract? You sold her to Ibn Wessler, right? What? That assumption is offensive. So? I'm not going to answer that, Mr. Featherland. No. I uh -oh. knew it. You know, sister, you could be a famous crocodile. You're still just a snake. Ooh. And I hope snakes will forgive me that I mentioned them in the same sentence as you. I'm truly sorry you feel that way, detective. Maybe one day your opinion will change. I don't think so. Alright, can't do anything else there. Guess, uh... I guess that's all there is to really do here. Been there. We can go back to the club. It's back at the club. Well, looks like the party's over. Yeah, it looks like it. And just when I was starting to get into the mood. Damn it. I thought I was going to see you shake a tail feather tonight, boss. Yeah, let's not go that far. Thanks, Pablo. Good luck to you. Do hope you do well. What's up, Lewis? What's up, Mort? I forgot their names. Ladies? Hello, ladies. Not even what happened to us at the <laughs> brothel on the burning <laughs> ship discouraged you, huh? On the contrary, Sonny. I haven't felt this much Do alive your best, in a Pablo. long, long time. All right. Good luck. You have five minutes. Then we're leaving. Thanks, Dad. But I'm not going to talk to them. You know me. I only conquer from afar and only in my mind ever since Laura turned my head. Yeah, don't and forget Laura, about Laura. Upside down. What a lucky woman, eh? I'm the lucky one. That's for sure. What's up, Mort? I could already smell you boys. Yeah. <laughs> ah, hello, Morty. What's up? Are you lost, old lizard? Me? <laughs> lost? <laughs> no way. If I'm not mistaken, your rickety little shack isn't this way, Morty. It's uh, miles away from here. Don't you worry about me, you overgrown eggs. I know where <laughs> the road's taking me. Jeffy uh, threw you out again, huh? Don't you worry about that either, pal. <laughs> that little bastard. All right, listen, Mort. I'll talk to Lewis for you, okay? Luckily, he's right here. Don't bother because of me, sonny boy. He's nothing. I can walk. No worries. I just want your legend to live on, lizard. He's wearing lizard. sweatpants. Yeah, Mort, or Lewis is right here. We can talk hey, to Lewis. Hey, Lewis. Here again? I just left something here, Sonny. 
but nothing important. Are you sure everything's all right, Lewis? You seem, uh, distracted. I'm fine, S -S Sonny. Don't you worry about me. What are you doing here anyway? You look quite b b battered. Now we got both hot and cold tonight, literally and at the same time. <laughs> but we're alive, and we're hoping maybe we can find Natasha here. I'm s -s sorry, Sonny. I haven't seen her since her p -p performance. Well, thanks. Uh, keep your eyes open, all right? In my e ears. Yeah, your ears. Can't I go in the club? I guess I can't go back in. You know, when you showed me that flyer, I didn't think you were going to... I'm going to be uh, honest, Marty. I had a feeling if we got into this... Who can right. take care... Yeah, okay, something okay, like okay, that. That's okay, honest okay. coming from a selfish this. bastard and a jerk. Thanks, boss. Okay. So that's all that is. All right, let's see uh, where else we can go. It's been there. Mullen's newsstand again? Let's check that out. Look at what the wind of the sea dragged in. Our girlfriend in the flesh. I can't believe it. Is this guy everywhere? The gull sees farthest to flies highest, Marty. Yeah, that guy's never given up. That's clucking sure. <laughs> Timothy again. What? Is he following me? Hey there, Timster. Long time no see. Hey, boys. What a lovely surprise. Do you also have a deja vu, Sonny? It's like all of this had already happened, isn't it? Yeah, now that you mention it. We never said you were, Timbo. But what exactly are you doing here? It's a little far away from Roachtown. Uh, okay, okay, I confess. I was following you. But I simply had to know what this is all about and how it's gonna end. It's my job, after all. But you have to understand, pals. We're not your pals, Tim. And I'm telling you for the last time, get the clock off our backs, <laughs> or it's going to end up a lot different for you than you think. Ah, that's harsh. Harsh. Even from you, Sonny. Did something happen? Did you get dragged into something personal? And on New Year's Eve again? Yeah, I mean, what's the chance of that? Bloody New Year's is back? Is there a connection between the two? What happens if it reappears again? Make him stop, Marty, or I'm gonna twist his beak off. Hey, uh, okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, my beak is sealed, and I'm gonna keep it low. <laughs> Very good. You're not so stupid after all, Tim. You must have been just pretending. <laughs> uh, that, that's a good one, Sonny. <laughs> good one, Timbo. Lawyers. Murdoch and Falcon is a famous law firm in Clawville, <laughs> run by a blind bat and a bird-brained falcon. Mullen's car, ancient but kind of beautiful, like the old beaver himself. Ho ho! Is that the chicken, please? Hello, Hercule. Good to see you here. <laughs> the sun shines, the rain falls, and hurts. Just so like that. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 Sonny boy. Let me guess. Maybe, um. Oh, yeah. yeah, we need <laughs> info. Okay. Years of practice. We're okay. just sniffing around a bit, Uncle Mullen. You just okay. can't sit still. Thanks, old pal. Okay. So let's ask him. Uh, what Bubo. a night we're having. We even ran into Bubo. And you're still alive? <laughs> Give praise to the great wild ones, lads. <laughs> we do. What's going on with the old owl? He didn't tell us much about himself. Oh, I hear the old owl's doing quite all right, since more and more cops step outside the line and more and more gangsters shoot themselves in the foot. Busy days, huh? Ah, uh, something's coming, lads. It's in the air. And I can feel it in me beaver bones, too. Clovers boiling. Yeah, we feel it as well, Uncle Mullen. We managed to run into Thelma, fall asleep too. here. 
might have to end it soon. Save another for part three. He didn't look so good, that's for sure. Let's see here. At the age of the private eye is over, lads. Now animals either sue each other or turn to the local crime lords. Only jealous or betrayed housewives remain for private detectives. Phil would never admit to that. He's too much of a romantic. Are we still talking about Phil Mayer? <laughs> What the hell is Tim doing here? Ah, uh, you're still angry at him. Snickers, then. I don't need no he's Snickers. He's not really a bad fool, and he simply idolizes you. Be gentle with him. It's not adoration, it's an obsession. And I can't bear obsessive yeah. people. Then how exactly can you bear Martin? Hey, old man. The exception that proves the rule, right? If I'm obsessed, then what are you, boss bird? No, that's different. I have no other choice but to be with myself. The toughest prison on the planet, right? <laughs> Get a room, you two. What about Madam? Listen, Hercule, what do you know about Madam Zavos? Why do I have the feeling you're not interested in her girls? Because you know us, Uncle. I hope you didn't mess with her. The old Cayman has a rather bad reputation. Yeah, we already money. messed with her. <clears throat> Crocodile. But you're right. We shouldn't have messed with the old gal. She set fire to a ship with us in it. Yeah, it could have been <laughs> Ibbins, guys. <laughs> Boys, I've heard she loves drama, but that is a whole other level. Yeah, right. We barely got out alive. What a and I died three times trying to untie that rope. Maybe try uh -huh. not to anger her, if that's possible. <laughs> Thanks. Good advice. I see everything's like it used to be. <laughs> yeah, if only my back was the same. Huh, you're telling me. All right, well, what do we got here? Got a few new clues, or people clues. Whoops. Find a secure the scene. Okay, there's suitable garden gnomes. That's very nice. What's about Mort? Got lost and he can't go home. We told Lewis to find a room for him. Okay. That's nice of us. Okay. I guess we're done with that, eh? I guess, uh... It still tells me to go to these... I must be missing something at the other places if I can still go there. But, but let's go to the PD. 97X. Bam! Oh, we're getting shot. Wait, furry wait. hell! So they know we're still alive? And I'd like to do something about it. What are we doing? Oh, crap. I got horrible aim. Don't shoot them, bird brain. Shoot the car. Ah, ha, ha. I was shooting them. I didn't know I had to shoot the car. <laughs> so I got to shoot the car. All right, retry. Oh, shot the headlights out. I got to shoot the headlights. Concentrate, Marty, for the God's sake. Can you drive with you're not a fucking lunatic? Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow. I'm out of bullets. Take cover and reload. Oh. I died. Ah, oh, man. Okay, let's try this again. Let's just shoot the tires, right? Lunatic? Shut up and shoot the Am I 
supposed to do here? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You died. Get a hint? We don't need any more corpses. Shoot the car. Not the ones inside, bird brain. Hiding can decrease your chances of getting shot. You pillow filling. Oh, jeez. Try to survive. That's the best you can do. Oh, jeez. Okay. So when he's shooting, I got to duck into the car. That makes sense. Oh, dude, this going to be stuck on this one forever. Concentrate, Marty, for the God's sake. Can you drive like you're not a fucking lunatic? Shut up and shoot, you big fella, fella. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, crap. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm doing better this time. Wait, that was like glitchy looking. Okay. Bob Pop Enterprises. What are you talking about? We could only hope we'd arrived <laughs> in time. BPE. If they'd taken Zip to the interrogation room. Or Bob Pop Entertainment hole, as we Company. It, and beaten the truth out of him, we'd lose the trail and end up in a dead end. It was time to be fast and ruthless. God damn it, Zip. Why couldn't you stay out of this? That was crazy. Uh, that's the PD. Okay, cool. Yeah, right, uh, look who's here. The top of the cops. Idiot's luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. Wonders of the world, Marty. BPE Electrical Construction LLC. <laughs> Where do you come up with this crap? Where the hell do you come up with this crap? Oh my goodness. How many of these did we wreck in ten years? Nine. Right. How much does it cost the city to... Well, right. stop thinking about it. Yeah. Alright, right. stop thinking about it. Okay, what are these guys doing? Hey, guys. Beautiful night, huh? Maybe a little wet, but, uh... Well, to be honest, I'm soaked to the bone. Maybe the spikes. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Royce. And you, don't you have anything better to do? Hey? Better than this? Nah, nothing. We love clown. Ah, piss off, chicken. Piss off, chicken. All right, let's go inside. Martin. Oh, yes, blood boils, chief. pissed. You know what I've heard. I have no idea, chief. You think I'm stupid, birds? No, no, we uh, we don't, chief. What the ever loving fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, chief, if I may. Sonny, shut the fuck up. You're not on duty. You're suspended, if you remember. So I'm not your chief right now. Oh, we just stepped out for a coffee, Chief. Then we saw something suspicious at the Czar Club, and we investigated it, and, um... Suspicious, right? You investigated, right? Right. Yes, sir. Do you take me for a fool, chickens? And what do you know about the burning ship that lit up the entire time? Nothing. Burning, uh, what? <laughs> Wild Lords, that, that sounds awful. Don't play innocent with me, Santino. You both stink like you're in deep, deep shit. Well, he's a bloodhound. He should know. Anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. But if you do, I will find out. You better know that. I swear, Chief. <laughs> yeah, what's that all about? For your swearing for a lifetime. Get the fuck out of my sight. I swear, yes, Jar. Sir. Have a beautiful day, Chief. Don't let me see you again, Santino. Or I'll try not to be seen, Chief. I'm not your chief. Get lost. This guy looks like he wants to talk to me, doesn't he? Uh, anything new to look at here? Uh, 
office area. We have no business. Yeah, no business up there. The hound of hell in the flesh. I don't think any kind of devil would be brave enough to get a... <clears throat> a busy day, sir. Sonny, you think I'm just joking, I didn't mean to right? talk to him again. Speak to me one more time, and I'll fire you. Uh, understood, yeah, sir. let's... Sorry. So get the fuck out of my sight, Okay, sorry, yes, sorry. Sorry, sorry, about you, real... oh, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that, yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, what does this guy want to do? You two again. Say, Bosco, what's all this about uh, Zip? Yeah, for me, I knew. This dog, this Bosco? Called this on with the suspenders? He told us we have to take his statement. And what does he want to confess to? I don't know yet. We still can't get it out of him. But we're taking him down to the hole soon. There, he'll sing like a little bird for us. <laughs> no pun intended. Would you mind if we asked him a few questions before that? You know, just for old time's sake. Sorry, boys, but you have rules, right? Rules. Oh, yeah, more like blood boys. Rules. So sorry. So they're not going to let us talk to him? Sorry, boys. I can't let nah. you do that. Protocol. You, know, you and Protocol, Bosco? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That's the case, boys. All right. What can I do? Sorry, guys. Sorry, boys. What about Monica? Oh, we can ask her some more stuff here. Do you know anything about a girl named Deborah Ibanez? Yeah, she's you dead. You mean the Bambi whose body was found in Natasha Kutsenko's weekend house with huge red letters on her back? Don't call her a Bambi. So you knew her? Just fleetingly. Anyway, I don't even want to know. I don't know much about her. Moses and Plato are on that case. Thanks for the intel, Mon. Anything else worth mentioning? You were at the scene, right? We? <laughs> of course not. Sonny, you can't lie to me. You just oh. can't. Is this some kind of interrogation? Just leave us alone, Monica. You're an open book for me, Sonny. Remember that. Guess who we had the chance to meet? Madame Zavos, the legend herself. So you're that lonely? I didn't think that was your thing, Sonny, but you know what's best for you. We were there to investigate. Of course. And were you successful? To be honest, they beat us and tried to burn us alive. Inside of a sinking ship. Wow. Busy night, right? Even for you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what do you know about the madam? Eh, nothing much. She's not had any run-ins with the police recently. Of course. Because half the PD goes to her. Well, I'm not going to say anything about that. Look, Mon, we suspect Madame Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Any idea why? No, but those two mean trouble by themselves. I don't envy you, boys. Seriously, any ideas? Get out while you can. Right about immediately. Well, I you're agree. Kind of right. We can't, Mon. We gotta see this through to the end. No, we could just go home. We don't words. have to finish this. We could just when go did home. They bring in the trash panda. Not that even trash another. panda. You're just in time. They haven't taken him into the hole yet. Yeah, I can see. Listen, Mon, uh, would you do us a favor? Oh. Can I be honest? Not really. Oh, just a small thing. For old times' sake. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Big heart. So, what do you want? Call Bosco over here for some reason, okay? So that we can have a quick talk. Ooh, so, we're gonna get in trouble. Okay. I guess I can do that. But you owe me one. Well, thank you somehow. I promise. No, no promises this time. Shoes. Shoes? Size 35, high heels, black. <laughs> um, yes, ma'am. Good. Hey, Bosco. Yes, we're gonna buy Monica some Come shoes now. for a second. Right away. All right, trash panda. We need to Hello, talk. Zip. <laughs> Hello, boys. Uh, what's up? We were trying to visit you, but guess what? You were nowhere to be found. Yeah, I don't get it either. But suddenly the cops appeared and... Uh... Cut the crap, Zip. We talked to Tim. We were at the dog and at Bubo's, Zip. Two meatheads were talking about gutting a rat. A rat? An informant, Zip. We immediately knew it was you. Isn't that flattering? Oh. 
I can explain, boys. My life was in danger. These lunatics want to kill me, and I have no idea why. Clever They wanted to cook see that up it. in the chair. We're lucky to be alive. <laughs> then we walked our feet to the bone and almost got shot to pieces just a couple of minutes before. What Sonny means is we're not Hopefully in Lady Kid can watch some of this game. Raccoon shit. But boys, I have Animals. no idea what they want from you. I don't know what they want from me either. We have time. And by the looks of it, you have too, pal. So start telling us what you have to do with all of this. New function, ask. Okay, let's ask him some stuff. Let's Rubo ask him everything. doesn't have a high opinion of you, Zip. How do you know him? You see these stitches? His way. All of them. Ah, I see. My condolences. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. But the word friend is misspelled in his dictionary. Catch a Pokemon sometime what this do you year. Think about this uh, paper. I've seen better, Sunny Boy, but that's not paper. Do you know what it is? At first glance, it's canvas, a piece of a painting, but it's too oh. small and too blurry to make anything of it. So, still nothing. Well, thanks anyway, Zip. Any time, boys. Are we done? Not done yet. Um, what about Have you the Nile? The Nile, Zip. Oh, I wish, man. But my kind can't get in there. Why, did you? Right in the madam's room, if you're interested. Oh, so that's why you look like that. Bingo. Did you know that the place has ties to the Wessler Empire? Of course. Our place has ties to everything and everyone in Clawville, boys. Even to the royal family. I'll bet my tail on it. Are we going to get the royal family involved in this somehow? So we were just about to listen to some sweet music when, um... Didn't that damn jukebox break all of a sudden? Oh, damn it. Damn it indeed, Zip. There was a wristband behind it with numbers on it. 9842372 to be exact. What? All that from memory? How the hell? I have no idea either, and it scares me too, but that's not the point. Tell us about it. That well, is, this if you want to leave this place on your feet. Okay, okay. You got me. I'll talk, but only if you promise that the cops won't know about this. Do we look like we're on duty? So we're going to question him right here in front of everybody? Zip is a real opportunist. He's trying to turn everything to his advantage, but we're going to turn the tables. Who'd you escape from and why here, Zip? From? And why here, Zip? Why? <laughs> because I like living, that's why. How did you know they were coming for you? I got a tip off from a friend that I should pack my things and go if I want to live. Mm. I don't know where to run. Yeah, you tip. know me. The hot dog's my everything. So you thought you'd be safe here? Of course. Ibbets people are everywhere, but uh, eh, maybe it's harder to get rid of me at the PD. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Yeah. Uh, those two mate heads called you a rat. Or, uh, he's secretive, so maybe he's not going to answer that. How'd you manage to piss off Ibn? How did you manage to piss off Ibn Wessler? This is hard. All right. I don't have time for this. Sing like a bird, or I can't guarantee your safety. I did something for him, that's all, okay? A tiny little favor. You know how it goes, Sonny. Animals like Wesler make a living out of these kinds of favors. Tiny little favor, eh? Wesler's kind don't send assassins after someone for tiny little favors. You have no idea what's going on in his head nowadays, pal. Fella gone totally insane. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh... What did you have to do for Ibn? But he's secretive. Uh, it seems you can't leave the underworld behind. That doesn't really answer anything for me. He was blackmailing you, am I right? What did he have on you, Zip? Oh my goodness. It seems like these three are kind of the same, right? What did, he, what did you have to do for him? What did he have on you? 
Ah, man, I don't know what to pick. It was blackmailing you. Now, he was trying to come get you. He thought you were a rat, right? What know. did he have on you, Zip? You know the drill. I asked something of him once, and he told me one day he's going to ask me for something in return. And that day finally came, right? What is this, the Godfather? Yeah. And I had to go with it, because even if I got out of it, he dragged me back for good. Or worse. Nail your hide to the wall. <laughs> yeah. That's the least he would do, believe me. What did you have to do for Ibn? What did you have to do for Ibn? I never hurt anyone, all right? Let's make that clear right now. I never said you did. I just had to get rid of a package for the boss. That was the job. Quick, clean, simple. Get rid right? of a package? Yeah. What kind of package? A very heavy one. Dead bodies are kind of heavy, Zip. How did you know it was a dead body? I didn't. I was bluffing, <laughs> but uh, thanks for the answer. Just when he thought he was out. Chicken. He pulled me he right back a in. Secretive little specimen, but knowing his past, it's no surprise. I must take advantage of this and trap him with it. You gotta trap him with it. Why didn't you come here as soon as Westlord blackmailed you? Why didn't you accept the offer? Why you, Zip? Loyal henchman for these kind of jobs. Oh my god, how am I supposed to know what to pick here? A dead body? Is that what he was just talking about, the package? So, a dead body, huh? What kind, exactly? How should I know? What am I, a butcher? A zoologist? You still know something about it. It was wrapped up entirely, okay? I didn't see any of it. It was, uh, I don't know, average. Like you and me. Scaly, <laughs> hairy, furry, feathery, or bald? What kind, exactly? Hey, I don't know, all right? I told you it was wrapped up. So he dumped the body, huh? You know you're an accessory to murder? Uh, <laughs> if they let you out, what do you think's gonna happen? Yeah, if they let you that. out, what do you think will happen? I don't know, okay? Well, maybe it was a stupid idea coming here, but this was my best stupid idea. Maybe I'll win a few days with it. <laughs> or a few hours, more likely. If you help us, maybe we can cover this whole mess up. You mean you can be bored, Sonny? <laughs> what a time to be alive. The unbribable Santino Featherland. I'm suspended, Zip, and I'm talking chicken to raccoon. <laughs> oh, I see. You're a foul foul. All right. Uh, why did you keep that wristband? I kind of want to know what that's all about. How long do you think you'll be here under protection? We just asked him that. You wanted the blackmail Ibn? think he was saying that what's with the wristband why did you keep that wristband because it seemed important and because you know me I'm trying to turn every situation to my advantage that's the way zip works how exactly who knows it seemed important it just fell out of the body bag and I thought look this shit seems important. So it seems why important. Why? <laughs> That's why they want to kill you. Because that wristband. I have no freaking way of knowing that. Why don't you ask them, huh? What happened to the what body, Zip? What happened to the body, Zip? I don't know, Sonny. All I had to do was drop it in an abandoned part of the hive. Oh. The starvation's most prevalent, I guess. Oh, the, the insects, insects ate it. Fight for their survival, right? Uh, I couldn't find a better way to get rid of a corpse myself. All that fresh meat must have been gone in a matter of minutes. Fuck, I don't know. I didn't stick around to see what happened. The damn uh, insects. You make me sick, Zip. You would have done exactly the same thing in my situation. Anyone would have. I got the order. I did what I had to. I wanted to survive. Yeah, that's even for you. Blackmail. Yeah, something like that. Zip may be secretive, but if he manages to open up, he's also honest. He's not trying to change the subject anymore, so I only have one thing left to do. Ask the right question. Oh. 
Oh boy, this is ridiculous, huh? What exactly do Ibn's men want with you? They just squeal to anyone. Huh. Who is the stiff? He don't know who that is. Okay. So he wanted to blame it all on the insects. Why would he do that? So did he tell him to dump it with the insects? So he wanted to blame it all on the insects. Why would he do that? They're easy prey. Yeah, I get it. Insanely simple, Sonny. Ibn Wesler's not the only one who takes advantage of the tensions, you know. It's the easiest method of sweeping things under the rug. I've heard that Wessler's trying to break into the substitute meat industry. Ugh. Surprised? What do you think will happen if Wessler saves Roachtown from starvation with a new, cheap, and accessible faux meat product, eh? Boom. He's gonna be a hero. Yeah, maybe he'll get voted into the Council of Twelve. Clucking hell. What's with the wristband? I'm asking you for the last time. What's with the wristband? I honestly have no idea, Sonny. It simply fell out of the bag when I threw it down in the alley. At first, I wanted to leave it there, but then, uh, well, you know me, huh? And that's the whole story? That's the whole story. At first, I thought it was some kind of, uh, code. But on a wristband, it's usually an ID number instead. Like on prisoners. Exactly. Oh. But I know from experience that prisoners don't get bands like this. Not in Clawville. It looks more like something from a hospital. Oh. Well, maybe you're right, Zip. While we're at it, was it Dr. Bubo who gave you the tip-off to get out of the hop dog? Yeah, it was. Oh. Thanks, Zip. You've helped us put some vital pieces into place. It was Bubo. That's great. That didn't help me, Sonny. I don't want to rot in here or end up in the alley of the hive. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. You gotta help me. Be glad I'm not charging no, uh, what's an accomplice up? to murder here and now. Did you get done with your Just interview? Keep your head down. Understand? I will, boss bird. I will. That's more like it. All right. I got some. Oh, I got them all right. Nice. The wristband comes from the corpse. Zip had to hide in the hive on Wessler's orders. Okay. So you're telling me you have no idea what this is? It's a wristband. I see the same thing as you. This was the only thing left of the dead body. And me, you know me, they don't call me sticky fingers for nothing. So you just took it. Maybe for some blackmailing? Who knows? Maybe it just hurt my sense of justice. I wanted to know who I buried. You're a real bastard, oh. Zip. A real first grade bastard. <laughs> Should I say thanks? Thanks. Just lay thanks. low, Zip. Real low. Thanks for the advice. So, so where to next? Where did that wristband come from? You gotta go I talk got to Boobo. News, Marty. I only know one person who knows about medical there we go. stuff. Oh no, we were just there. Sorry, partner. Boobo again. All right, Boobo again. Um, let's look at that wristband again. It just had numbers. I couldn't remember if it had a name on it, too. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's go see Boobo. Hello, Ursula, dear. Well, Fall Guys. Whoa, whoa, you didn't get enough Fall Guys today? Is there something wrong? Hey, look at there's wrong. Ursula, the bear. Wrong. That dim witted, insane, <laughs> ragged old, stinky owl. That's what's wrong. Whoa, whoa. It's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. What happened? You happened. And Wester's goons. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. You're right. Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. And? I'm almost at no, 2,000 no, crowns now, no, though. No. I got this time, I got up to 1995 or whatever the other day. Getting there, Ursula. Getting there. And if there's anything we can do to help. Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I never want to see your faces again. Ouch. Ouch. I'm going to try to talk to the old owl, all right? <laughs> Good luck with that. 
Oh, and uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for us. With the car. You know, I'm starting to regret it. <laughs> that was... rough. Yeah, but understandable. I only see Bubo once a year, and <laughs> even that's way too much. A lot of people feel the same about us. Yeah, that's true. All right, Bubo, we gotta talk. I need to ask you about Ursula, I guess, Say, first. Say, Bubo, about Ursula. What about her? Well, that's just it. What if she's not coming back? I'm a little worried about you, Doc. And you know that's not my style. Well, don't worry, boys. The wind's blowing, the sun's shining, and Ursula always comes back. Exactly. There are things in the universe that are unchangeable. Okay, King, but you should be prepared for the worst. I thought Molly was coming back too, you know. Oh, yeah. I trust Ursula, Sonny. What else can I do? Nice, huh? Well, to be honest, that's all you can do. Golden Wolf, gang. Let's ask about that strange what do wristband. What you know about this wristband, Bubo? Zip said they gave these to patients in hospitals. That's why we came back to you. Hmm. Something similar, yes, but not exactly the same. It's different. And? And what? Well, what do you think? Where's this from? How the hoot would I know, Sonny? What am I, some kind of psychic? That I put my hands on it and tell you? Come on. Okay, let's try another approach. You know the answer to this. What about the corpse with the rip span? Yeah. Do you have any idea why Wessler's men were looking for Zip so hard? I don't. How should I know? Why should I care? Oh, did I click the wrong question? We had to hide a body. Oh. The body of someone Wessler killed. The wristband is from the corpse. Really? Hmm. That rang a bell, old owl. Well, boys, if I'm right, you're in deep shit. Uh -oh. That's more like it. Tell us, Bubo. So, Wessler, the wristband, and a corpse, huh? He looks very much like I know the connection. <laughs> well, tell us, Bubo. Lunch. Out with it, owl face. Okay, don't peck me, chickens. Hobart Ibn Wessler has a relative who happens to be a resident at an insane asylum. Insane asylum? And is very likely from there. Wait, a relative? What kind of relative? Yeah. You don't know? I thought you were the detectives. <laughs> anyway, Ibn Wessler has a twin brother, Albert. Albert, Albert Wessler. Oh, oh my goodness. You put it together very skillfully, Marty. Yes, Albert Wessler. He's a madman kept in solitary confinement. Do you think he's the corpse? But why? How the hell should I know that? Thanks, Bubo. If what you oh told boy. us is true, then this time we'll owe you one. Will wanders never cease? Albert Taddeus Wessler. So. That's Albert almost like Wessler. Jeffrey Bartholomew. Which asylum do you mean, Bubo? He's James the Third, or whatever your name is. <laughs> name. I don't remember, but I have a brochure. Let me find it for you. Thanks, Bubo. Well, here it is. Let there be peace forever. Mental institution for ill and damaged minds. Quite a big fool. It's a long name for an it? insane asylum. I've never heard of it. It's a good six-hour drive from Clawville, maybe more. But you find we're not driving six hours, sure. are we? You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. Whew, finally! Now get your chicken scratchers out of here while I'm asking nicely. Just one more thing. What's that, Bubo? If that someone was really Albert Wessler, the trouble's bigger than you think. Oh, it's always no. bigger than we think, Bubo. We're used to it. You don't understand. 
Ibn Wessler never loved and respected anyone in his life like he did his brother Albert. So what? Then the problem's bigger than we thought. A cornered rat bites. Well, thanks for worrying about us, Doc. Wow. There's no way back from uh, here. Too far, too late. We're like hounds, old man. Once we've caught someone's leg, we never let it go. Who? Not while you're alive, eh? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, goodbye then, fellas. And I wouldn't mind if you never visited me Oh, whatever, boo-boo. The pleasure was all ours, Doc. All right, let's get the heck. What did he give us? Oh yeah, the brochure. You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. Call us five 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 nine six six. Oh, we can call them though. Okay. Uh, where are we going next? Probably back to the hotel. Okay. We had to gather ourselves, take a deep breath and think over what we knew so far. What the chickens had I got myself into? What had I dragged Marty into? Moreover, what had we pulled the whole city into? This was gonna be one of those cases that changed things forever. But I wasn't worried about myself. It didn't matter to me. Too many pieces had been plucked off this old rooster. But Marty's different. He's too good of a bird and too good of a cop to end up like me. Oh, all a right. secret twin brother? Sonny, I'm starting to feel like we're really in a detective novel. A yeah, cheap, cheap one. one. <laughs> yeah, but uh, listen, Marty. What is it, Boss Bird? I think it's best if we go our separate way. Really? What? Are you joking? I know you have a weak sense of humor, but there's a limit to everything. I'm not joking, Marty. Why well, would you get rid of I certainly them? hope you are. Whatever comes next, you don't need to be mixed up in it. You have someone to go home to. Guys, damn it, Sonny. Can you hear yourself? What do you think? I endured all this to give up now? What do you take me for? No, pal. You're not getting rid of me so easily. I just want you to keep your career and your life intact, you moron. Just accept it, shake my hand, and go home. Your wife, Laura, is waiting for you. Wow. One more word, Sonny, and I swear I'm gonna bash your beak in. I risked my life more than once tonight. You know why? No. Why? Because we're a team. We have been a team for almost a decade. Now, I don't care what Blood Boil says or whatever's on a goddamn piece of paper. We're the chicken police, Sonny. And we always will be. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. We're gonna go to that insane asylum and wrap this shit up fast and clean. Yeah, just like you said, even if it kills us. Thanks, what? Marty. Without you, I'd most likely already be sleeping the big sleep. Ooh. Birds of a feather flock together, right? <laughs> like you say, <laughs> partner. <laughs> partner. Uh, let's drop this before you start crying on me, okay? Yeah, I hope not. You almost just did. Ah, cluck off, Marty. That's the spirit, the Sonny I know and hate. Fuck off. Alright, well. There's something I'm supposed to do now. Let's talk to him again. What do you think, Marty? What? You care what I think? You must have hit your head pretty bad. Well, I think we're in deep shit. But to be honest, Eben Wessler is in deeper shit. Do you think he really murdered his brother? But why? Oh. And what does it have to do with Natasha? What does it threats? have to do with Natasha? Uh, doesn't add up yet. Something's missing. Let's visit the institution and try to find out what we can about this Albert Wessler fellow. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta exactly. do. Exactly. If he's the dead body, we've got to know what the motive was. If we can't, and if he's still alive, we gotta ask him directly. Well, that'll answer the question, what do you I think, guess. Sonny? I think Ibn, Albert, and Natasha are the three key players in this case, and that all of it has something to do with the brothel. And the fact that Natasha used to be a <clears throat> courtesan? Yeah, that too. Listen, Sonny, okay. about Molly. Shut oh, your just beak. Get it, Marty, okay? 
She's not Don't be talking about life. Molly. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Forget it. Let's concentrate You're on out of your case. element. And I'm making it out alive. And helping Natasha, too. Whatever you say, Boss Bird. So you think Natasha's really in danger? Oh, it yeah. could be. Or she could even be behind everything. Not a chance. No, She's you don't danger. believe that. I'm not sure what I believe, Monty. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, Things investigating time. The brothel. All right, let's see. Things got mixed up at the brothel. Who are the suspects? Well, it's Ibn, right? That's right. And the clues. Westler has a twin. Not sure about that. Okay. Corpse of the wristband. Could be important, but not now. Uh, Natasha. That's it. Okay. Hmm. Ibn found out that Natasha was a secret spy? No. Natasha worked the brother wanted him to keep that... Wait. Is she is with Ibn? Worked at the brothel. And Siwas wanted to keep... She... No. Natasha was a secret lover of Zip? No. Yes, this is Natasha it. used to work there. That's obvious. And Ibn wanted to keep that a secret. Okay. The next clue is... Wessler's twin. Oh, we gotta have items. A painting piece? Nope. A badge, a gun, a key, wristband. How about this? A secret, it seems. Somebody else had to pay for. Zip killed someone to keep this. No, Zip didn't kill anybody. Zip dealt with the body. Wristband keep Zip killed someone, Zip stole No, it's this one. He died for that secret. Zip hid the body. But he kept the wristband. Hmm. But he kept the wristband, huh? And Wessler's twin. That's the wristband. Who could it belong to? Who could it belong to? We already figured this out. It's Albert, res resident of the, the same asylum, right? The dead body is almost certainly Albert Wessler, a resident of an insane asylum. But why did he have to die? I don't know. Why? Case closed? We gotta go there and figure it out still. So where exactly is this place? A few hours drive from here, in the middle of nowhere. It's a creepy old mansion. I don't think we're gonna end the stream here. I'm not gonna do the go next part yet. What if it's a trap? I ain't going I all the way to insane you, you can still go back. Huh, wouldn't you love that? No such luck, boss. If, if I, I thought we were like real close to the end, I'd just finish, asylum, but I don't think we're that close. That's gonna be on you. Thanks, pal. I deserve that. Maybe we are, I don't know. Uh, what about you Natasha Katsenko? I never trusted her, Marty. I mean, you believe her? I'm sure she was honestly afraid. People don't fake it that easy. But I can understand why she didn't tell us about her uh, former profession. Or how she knows Molly. Yeah, that too. And the death of Deborah complicated things even more. Hey, Bob Pop. Sonny, <laughs> she, she didn't seduce you, right? I mean, Natasha. Ah, don't be stupid, Monty. My old ticker hasn't been beating for a long time. Not that way, anyway. Yeah, all right, boss. So what do you think happened to the corpse? Probably been eaten. Horrible to think the about. The bugs ate it. Even if half of what they say about the hive is true. Starvation, riots, arson. Predation. Parsons insane it's asylum mission on Fallout makes my feathers stand on end <laughs> when I think about what goes on in there, and we pretend we don't know about it, as if Roachtown isn't even part of Clawville. This won't end well. I'm afraid soon Clawville's gonna burn once again, and because of its own foolishness. 
Well, that's if another meat war doesn't break out first. Cause then the whole wilderness will burn. Meat war. Lovely prospect, Jay. Either way, it was a damn clever move for Wessler to hide the body in Roachtown. Yeah, it's the only place no one will ever find it. Like the belly of a burning ship. Oh, I think that was an intentional right <laughs> here. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Who about thought? It? I believed that little rat. I thought he'd changed. Idiot. There's a point when it's too late to change, Marty. His past caught up with him. Whatever he did since then doesn't matter. Not much. Exactly. 3DS and we online and that's, the case with us too. that's crazy, Arnazers. Right, I won't back down, even though a voice in my head is screaming right that's now. It's a bummer. Leave it all to hell and have another drink. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should. A lot of people still play the older stuff, you know. Okay, so the picture is more or less clear. Ibn's got his brother killed because he learned Natasha worked in a brothel. No, well, that could be the case, but I believe the roots go deeper than that. Which we'd only learn if we talk to him. I mean, if the corpse isn't him, because then we'd need a medium. Which would be exciting, but maybe it's enough if we ask the doctor who treated him. That too, yeah. But where's the fun in that? Hmm. Huh. We look at the picture of Molly again. Ah, man, I can't imagine how you feel. The only good thing you ever had, huh? Shut up, Marty. <laughs> sure. The so wild this gentleman. is them. Yeah, the wild gentlemen. They were role models when I was a kid. Well, you must have been a weird kid, which ain't surprising. My idols were the White Wolf and Super Squirrel. The White Wolf. I was eh? playing the. Uh, explains a lot. You know, when I was back in. Iberia, whatever that survival Claude one is, Noah. Cole, I was doing that one. Together in two peace two crowns. Seemed like an unattainable dream. Those guys. Survival of the fittest, I guess. The city rose from the ashes of the great fire. Yeah. It's a little sweaty, but now. two crowns for a victory is pretty good. What would become of you if you hadn't ended up in Clawville? Maybe you'd even be happy? Perhaps. Especially if you get Jump Showdown as a final and you can time it out anyway. I don't even know what we're supposed to do now. Clues. Wristband comes from a corpse. Zip had to hide. Okay. Wristband is from an insane asylum. Where Ibn's twin was there. Okay. Ursula got mad. Okay. Got some info on Zip here. Okay. Yeah, Albert. No, I can't click on it. There we go. Albert Tedius Wesla. Ibn's twin. Hmm. Allegedly. Insane Asylum. With a ridiculously long name and a long history. The Meat Wars. Wild Gentlemen. Meat Wars, huh? <laughs> 80 to 90 million animals died. 27 species declared extinct. Dang. That's cereal. That's super cereal. Alright, let's see here. You ever play online on 3DS? I never play had 3DS. I had Wii, though. And I remember I had to go to the Wii store and you could play uh, Mario Kart Wii online against people, and you could play. Uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff online. 
You're the best, Bubo. You finally proved useful. Let there be peace forever. Mental institution for ill and damaged minds. We're waiting for you. Call us from Clawville. Should we call him? Five 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 nine six six. Oops, wrong. Dang it. Click the wrong button. Should we make an appointment to come visit? Hello. You've called the Let There Be Peace Forever Mental Institution for Ill and Damaged Minds. <laughs> what can I do for you, sir? Or madam? Uh, well, I'd like to uh, inquire about a patient who I believe is being uh, uh, treated at your institution. Uh, his name is Albert Wessler. Unfortunately, I don't have that. I'm not a relative. I'm calling from the Clawville Police Department. Oh, I see. In that case, officer, I'd advise you to visit our institution personally. Our director and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, miss. I guess I'll do that. We'll welcome you with open arms, sir. Have yourself a beautiful, starlit night. <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Uh, goodbye. See you soon. That was very nice of them. Can we call the police station? Is it just 555-911? Five, 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 No answer. Okay. So, we have to go there. Ah, the thought gives me goosebumps. Chicken bumps aren't good enough for you? <laughs> ha ha ha. Chicken bumps. Alright. Let's see here. All the clues here. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to the insane asylum, are we? I don't think so. Maybe we'll go there and then just see it and then leave and call it a day. Hmm. Lewis's phone number. Ah, oh, Deborah's dead. Bummer. All right. Uh, let's just go to the insane asylum. It's not letting me. Hold on. I can't click on the... I can't click on the map. Why can't I click on the map? So, I get the couch? It'd be better if I called Lewis. He'll open up a room for oh, you to sleep in. Oh, I gotta call Lewis. Whew, great idea. What if I called Debbie? Wait, what? <laughs> I gotta call Lewis. What's Lewis's phone number? Call Deborah. I don't think we have our phone number. No, we can't call her. We got Lewis's. It's 555932. Okay. Louie, we need a room. Hey, Louis, it's, uh, it's me again. Oh, <laughs> hello, Sonny. What's up? Were you sleeping, pal? Me? Oh, I wasn't. Uh, anyway, I'm always at your service. Would you open up a room for Marty? Naturally, Sonny. Thanks, Louis. I'm not even going to say it. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, see you, Marty. Oh, by the way, Marty, we got your room. Sorry for the mess, Marty. I uh, rarely have visitors. Don't worry about it, Sonny. I didn't expect anything else. Uh, thanks. Mm, it would be best to board it up. It'd go well with this rundown neighborhood. It may be run down, but somehow I still feel like it's honest. Sure. You could live in Cockroach Town. That's an honest place, too. Has a similar stink. Believe me, Marty, I thought about it. Uh, why am I not surprised? I've had enough stimulation for today. Uh, what are we supposed to do now? Oh, the map opened up now. Insane Asylum. Okay. Chapter 4. Okay, I guess we ended Chapter 3. I slept like I used to sleep years ago. Like a miner or a soldier. Empty. Dead tired. I don't know, Merrick. Then I saw Tessa. My darling little daughter. But her no daughter? matter how hard I tried, I couldn't recall her face. Oh. I reached out to her, but she just kept getting further and further away. Then I saw Molly. Oh, no. But she wasn't real. Just the ghost of a memory. I'm here, I cried. But all I heard was laughter. Not her. Tasha. Who's there? Suddenly, she appeared. Natasha. Just stood there laughing. But her eyes were cold. Then she said something. What'd she say? Painted red. Painted oh. red. Oh. Painted red. What? That was just a dream, Sonny. Nothing more. I looked at Marty and I saw the same thing in his eyes as he probably saw in mine. It's time to hit the brakes, to turn back, go Paint home, red. and forget about all of this. <laughs> of course, I stepped on the gas instead. Honestly, I wasn't expecting anything good, but this... Ooh, just like a horror movie. I was thinking the same. Appearances can be deceiving. Let's hope so. Out of the past. Trophy. Earns. All right. Um, I think I am done for the night. I don't know that I got to do a whole other chapter. I don't know how many chapters are in the game, really. Uh, nothing new in there. Okay. Bunch of stuff. Oh, there's a nurse here? Oh, you can't see her head. She's a giraffe. Look at that. <laughs> She's a giraffe. There's a resident. Uh, weird mural. Oh, that's weird. Oh, closed off stairs. Beware. Oh, no. All right. I think, uh, done. Done for now. Load game? Hopefully that saved. Yeah, it looks like it did. There's ten chapters? No way, Merrick. In Chicken Police, there's ten chapters? No way, they're, we're not even... We gotta be more than halfway done. I'm gonna look this up. I gotta look this up now. Chicken Police... Chapters. Uh, that's a whole walk through here. How long is Chicken Police? About ten hours, they say. Less if you skip the cutscenes. Huh? Doesn't tell me how many chapters there are. Chicken Police Chapters. Let's see here. 
Let me just click on this walkthrough guide and see if it tells me there. Uh, let's scroll all the way to the bottom and hopefully it doesn't ruin the thing. Or no, there's a table of contents here. Chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4. Looks like there's only four chapters. Looks like there's only... I'm not going to look at it anymore. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, it looks like there's four. So... So there we go. Probably four. So we're almost done with the game. We just started four. Alright. Well, we'll continue that on... Uh, Extras. What are extras? Cutscenes. Art gallery. Oh, we gotta collect the... Oh. Club Czar concept art. Oh, okay. Oh, some of the stuff's locked. City crust. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the brothel pictures. Oh, man. Hilarious. Clean your gun. Oh, there's her, Natasha's family. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder if these are like the cats, like the faces of the cats. I wonder if they're like just cats that like the people that made the game, like they're real cats or something. I guess I there's a lot of stuff here. Sonny's Evolution. Oh, is there like previous Chicken Police games? And these are like from old games? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this like a whole series and I didn't know about it? Really, is it? Hmm. No, it can't be, right? It makes it look that way. Old concept art, pixelated Sunny and Marty. Really? There's Molly on the beach. <laughs> oh, man. Zoo shooting. Oh, is this like the developers like going to the zoo to get pictures of animals? That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Natasha Katsenko. <laughs> Natasha's painting. Uh oh, we don't want to look at that. All right, mug shots. Oops. Oh, the last two are locked anyway. Trophies, cutscenes. You can go back and watch the cutscenes. Oh, that's kind of cool. If you wanted to see any of that again. Okay, yeah. Well, here's how long the game is. There, we've watched eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven cutscenes. There's five, six left. So, there you go. Collectibles. Oh, we're missing stuff here. Oh, those are the magazines that we've been picking up in books. Trophies. Oh, we missed a lot of trophies. Eh. I don't want to look at them. I don't want to spoil anything. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, about 20 minutes till a new PB, Bob Pop. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't know what we'll play tomorrow, but uh, we'll finish up Chicken Police later this week, I think. Maybe Thursday, because Friday night's our coin club meeting, and we'll see. We'll go from there. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.